Good afternoon. Let's see, let me turn down my volume. I always forget to do that. There we go. I see Angie. Hi, Angie. Tennessee Angie. Nope. Angie Bassett. I'm sure Tennessee Angie will be here. Why isn't that going live yet? Boy, I got a bad live on mine. Come on. Come on, YouTube. YouTube. Holy smokes. There we go. Wow. Hi, Mrs. Gigi. Hey, Mitz. Hey, Angie. How's everyone today? I have my rings on. <laughs> hey, cat. How you doing today, cat? How's your sniffles? Are they less sniffly? Hey, Darla. Hey, Lori B. How's everyone? I hope everyone's having a fantastic Thursday. Twiddling thumbs waiting. <laughs> You've been twiddling your thumbs, Brett. <laughs> I doubt that. You're a pretty busy lady. <laughs> hey, Michelle. Hey, Kristen. All right, feed your dog. Poor Kristen hasn't been getting any sleep. She just had twins, so she's <laughs> tired. Hi, Karen. About the same. Well, at least it's not worse. That's good. <laughs> hey, Candy. You have glue on your hands, Lori. Oh, Lori's crafting. She has glue on her hands. <laughs> it's almost dark here. It is dark. Not almost. It is dark outside. <clears throat> hey, hooligan mama. <laughs> so what's everyone up to today? Lori has glue on her hands. Angie's not having a good day. Cat has the sniffles. So I thought what I would do, since I only have five of these, and I think they're going to be pretty popular, I thought I would offer them up first so the early birds would get a chance. They're little adjustable pin cushion rings. They were having a... Uh, fundraiser at the library the other day and I bought them all. So I said, I'm going to buy all those and see if my friends want some. They only had five. So there's those. Beans and cornbread. Oh, you're going to make, you're still in your pajamas. Good for you, Josie. You had your husband cut your hair, Lisa. <laughs> I cut Chris's hair, but I'm not going to let him cut mine. No way. Mid number two. So these are little uh, pin cushion rings. They're 250. They have the adjustable rings in the back. I have three cream, one lavender, and they're cute, and one navy blue. That's what I have. Where's Patricia? There's Patricia. Hello. So there they are. The little pin cushion rings. There's the backs. Looks like the backs are hot glued on there. There's those. So I'm going to put those in there, $2.50 each, and there's, tell me whether you want cream or do, you know, your first choice, your second choice, your third choice, cream, lavender, or blue. Aren't they cute? Pin, cushion, ring, two, you're fine, 50, 
Hi, Debbie Long. Go. So give me your first choice, your second choice, and your third choice. Oh. <laughs> oh, cat. All right, there we go. Okay, let me refresh here. Okay, so I have Michelle H for blue. And Lisa Jameson for cream. Patricia Cook, do you have a second choice? Blue is gone. I have lavender and cream left. Hey, Jude. If you'd like a lavender or a cream. Lavender, okay. Patricia Cook for lavender. And I have two creams left, if anyone would like one. They're $2.50. They're little pin cushion rings. And they have the adjustable ring on the back. <laughs> yeah, who could it be, Brenda? Hmm. They're little pin cushion rings, Jude. And they have the adjustable ring on the back. They're cutie, cute, cute. Can I see you? Oh, not again, Karen. Poor Karen. Let me refresh, Karen. Karen Thompson, one cream. I refreshed and you showed up, Karen. It's YouTube. All right, those are sold. Yep, Jude would like the last one. Thank you, ladies. Yes, perfect for slow stitching. <laughs> Yep, you got one. You got one, Karen. You got cream. You got it. Next thing I have are these Asian, um, I think they're Chinese. Let me check the box. Yes. Oh, Chinese dash Japanese. So they have both, I guess. Chinese and Japanese character cards. And they, the nice thing about these are um they are matte they're not shiny so you can color them ink them spray them stamp on them whatever they don't have that coating so you can alter them if you want these are 25 for a dollar and you can get as many sets as you like and they measure let me measure them for you three inches by two and a quarter so they're three inches by two and a quarter. They're off white and you get 25 for a dollar. Oh, cool, Lisa. Well, let's see, character cards, 25 for one dollar. Go. Yes, you got a cream one, Jude. You sure did. Okay. All right, so I have Rebecca Wills, five. Yep. Okay. Mitzi, two. Okay. Karen Thompson, ten. Okay. Lisa Jamison, one. Okay. Lori B, one. Okay. Lori B. Lori Bremer. Okay. Uh, Michelle H, two. Darla one, Deb's crafting room two, sweetheart one, Brenda four, <clears throat> thanks Jude, Kay Borland two, Uh, Lori B would like four in total. Four sets. Yeah. Okay. And then twenty-five is a set. Yep. All right. And if anyone would like to add, there are still some available. <laughs> oh. Okay. 
Yep, and I'm just putting these back in the box. Okay, cool. You guys like my first offerings. Next I have, I've never seen these before. This is something that I just came up with. This is a ball of strips of fabric. It starts out with one kind of strip and then another kind of strip. And I just kept rolling it and making it and making it and making it. So this is six. This one's 6.1 ounces. This one's 6.7 ounces. There's all different kinds of fabric strips in here. You're going to get a deal. So that's a lot of ripping and rolling and pulling of strings. So I'm just going to sell these for five each. Would the back happen to say? Uh, I would assume so, Brenda, yes. There's all kinds of explanations on the back and stuff. Okay, so let's see. Um, fabric, strip, balls, $5, go. No, I'm not going to unroll it, Deb. <laughs> you silly. Rip and roll. There you go. All right. So I have Mitz, Mitzi for one and Candy for the other. And those are sold. Candy Feinberg. Candy Feinberg. Yep. Okay. Next I have... I'm going to call this Fab Fetty. It's fabric confetti. You get at least two ounces to 2.3 ounces in each bag. I have 21 of these available. There are tons of, there's at least, I used at least 20 different kinds of fabric in here, if not 30, because I can't remember. And I just cut up the fabric and I put it in a box and I mixed it and mixed it and mixed it and turned it and mixed it. And then I just, uh, this is uh, fabric confetti. So you're getting two, at least two ounces per bag. And they're going to be $1.50 a bag. And I have 21 available. Okay, Angie. Fab confetti. Is it $1.50, right? $1.50. Yeah, $1.50. Go. Yep, snippets. Did you pull them out? No. Ah, they, they can see. All right, so I have Candy Feinberg for one. Okay. Debbie Long, three. Okay. Hooligan Mama, two. Okay. Kelly Clark, two. Hi, Justine. And hello, Kelly. Yep. And Brenda one. I've heard it called junk journal salad. And I've heard it called, oh, I think Brooke calls it confetti. So it's $1.50 a bag and it's all ripped up and you have tons. Uh, Jude would like one. I can take it out a little bit for you. Let me move this stuff out of the way. There's a ton in here. I mean, look at when you take it out of the bag, it just explodes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll bring this back out later. Yeah. Debbie Long will take three more. Thanks, Jude. And thank you, ladies. Oops. 
I missed a couple in that bag I just gave you. just to get them out of my way. These are the 12 days of Christmas cookie cutters. Um, the reason I got these that I thought you could use them for um, paper molds or uh, yeah, there's 12 there. It's the 12 days of Christmas. So you get partridge in the pear tree. Two turtle doves. Uh, I think this is a turtle dove. There's a turtle dove. Two turtle doves. Three French hens. Two turtle doves. Three French hens. Uh, there's the bow in the horn. Uh, there's the drummer's drumming. <coughs> Lords a leaping. Uh, geese a swimming. I can't remember. Uh, maids a milking. Ladies dancing. That might be a turtle dove. Uh, five golden rings. So there they all are. There's your days of Christmas. So you get 12. They are, let me see. They are from the Chitton Aluminum Specialty Company from 1978. They were made in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Oh, it says it on the back. Four calling birds, the six geese laying, five golden rings. I know this one. This is drummer, 12 drummers drumming, eight maids of milking, <clears throat> 10 lords of leaping, 11 pipers piping, Two turtle doves, partridge in a pear tree, seven swans a swimming, nine ladies dancing, and three French hens. So I'm just going to flat price those at uh, four dollars. Cookie cutters from 1970 something. Cookies, cutters, set. Four dollars. Go. If you know somebody that likes to bake cookies or is into Christmas, these would be really cute ornaments. It would be so easy to drill a hole in these, and you could sparkle them up, paint them. Whole drill, Rubbing alcohol, whatever. They'd be really cute Christmas ornaments. No takers on those? Okay. Those are still available. Hi, Jen. How you doing? Okay. All right. So let's see. I have these wallpaper sets. You get a full scene of each set. This is laundry. And it measures, this one is probably about 18 inches, 20 inches. And you get this pretty um, mill, mill on the river scene with deer. There's the mill and the geese in the sky. It's in the fall. And I didn't do my homework on these. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Jen. Okay. Get that sucker rolled back up. 
These are going to be two dollars to both. We get two, and let me see. I don't know how many of those I have. Oh, might just be that one. I don't know where my other box went. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah, it looks like I just have the one of those. You don't see any more of these laying around, huh? Okay. Oh, here they are. Aaron's blind. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, seven of those available. And you're getting two pieces of wallpaper for, uh, let me change the price on that. Um, how about $1.25? Hey, Dare. Hello to anyone that came in. Okay, let's see. Wallpaper. And Aaron can't spell. $1.25. Go. How many of those? Yep. And you get both pieces. All right. Jude will take two. Kelly Clark, one. Dare B, two. Brenda, one. And we have a new shopper here with us today. Her name is Jen. Yep, one more. And Jen, one. And those are sold. Thanks, ladies. And is it just plain Jen? J E N. J E N. Yep. And you need her address? Yeah. <clears throat> I, I can get it from Els. If she doesn't want to send it to me, I can just get it from Els. I know she has it. Just give me a second on this. Yep. No problem. All right, this next set, you get a yard of each of these. You get a yard of the ladybugs. Yeah, their spots are hearts. <laughs> That's what your edge looks like with the leaves and the giggle. Hey, Brooke, with green polka dots. Welcome, welcome. How are you feeling today? You and Kat have the sniffles. <laughs> and here's the other piece you get a yard of this. It's roses on a cream background. Which is another wallpaper. Yeah. Just $1.25. So $1.25, you get both of those. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like I have six of those. Okay. Go ahead. Just let me know. All right. So I have six of those. You get two yards for a dollar twenty-five. Okay. So wall paper two yards. One twenty-five. Good. Yep, I got all the cool kids here today, Brooke. Our cool kid collection is complete. <laughs> nah, it's never complete. Okay, y'all set? All right. Kelly Clark. Okay. Jude. We get both cat. Okay. Cat. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Diana. Yep. Sorry. Laura Jersey. Mm -hmm. Jen. One and there's one left. Okay. Oops, this needs to go. Oh no, they're sold. I'm sorry. Good. Those are sold. Oh, uh, I had one less than I thought. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You gotta call them back. We can no, take a break. Fine. One, call two, me. three, four, five, six. Is that right? 
and they kind of slide apart a little bit. I'm sorry about that. One of them is kind of slippery, slippy. Oh, thanks, ladies. Okay. And this is Jen's first time here, so everybody's welcome, Jen. Say hello. I have one more of those. One off. Okay, this one's a one-off. This is the only one I have of this one. This is a outdoor garden scene. I'll just kind of show it to you under the camera so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so you get the artifact. And I kind of just put the leftovers in this one. To get a piece of the birdhouses. And let me get it back in there. My hands don't want to work. A whopper big thing. And a piece of the ladybug. Looks like you get a yard of the ladybug. This one's going to be $2 for all three pieces. There's only one of these available. So I'm going to do wall, paper, $2. Wait till I gotta let YouTube catch up. You get three pieces in this one. All right, let me see. Um, that is sold to Justine Stone. Thank you, Justine. This next one I have four of. This is herbs. You get um, or botanicals. You get the violet, chrysanthemum, and then that one says glassy. And it's like a mint green color. You get a piece of that. And then you get a piece of that last one that I showed, the garden one. You get a yard of that. Where's Lucy? Hey, Lucy. When those come together, I have four of these available. They are $1.25, and I have four. All right, Derby. Yep. Kelly Clark. Just yep. Justine okay. and South Park Kim. And those are so. I saw somebody wrote hi Lucy, so <laughs> I just said hi too. Or hi also. <laughs> you need this for anything? Okay. Oops. Oh, that's wait, what is this? Is this one of those? No, it's a different one. Uh, what's the different one? Yeah. Next it these are two different sizes. And you get a yard of this one. This is tobacco colored and it's got creams and greens and reds. You get a yard of that. And then you get a yard of, with it, this um, embossed paisley moray. And you get a yard of that. And that is off white. These are dollar twenty-five. I have four available. Let's see, get this one wound back up, and I will enter that. Hey, Amanda. I am the wallpaper queen. I think I deserve the crown for sure. 
Okay. Let me pull out your wallpaper. Material. Go. Hey, Mary. All right. There, B will take one. See if anyone else comes in. Kelly Clark will take one. Rebecca Wills will take one. And there's one left. Okay, looks like one available on that one. Let's see if anyone else pops in. Next one I have is, this one's really cute, birdhouses. You get one whole um, scene of the birdhouses, so you get four of the birdhouses. You get that whole repeating pattern, and then you get a fence. You get the fence, the two, the birds, and the squares, and then you get this, this one with the birds. And then you get this, the birds. So you get one whole scene on that one. So you get two whole scenes with the birds in the birdhouses. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those available. Those are also going to be one dollar twenty-five cents. Paper one five. Okay, thanks, Jen. Appreciate it. And hi, Ray, if I didn't say hi. All right. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are sold. Let me hit seven. Yeah. Uh, Justine. Okay. Jude. Okay. Let me refresh just to be sure. Dare B. Okay. Kelly Clark. Mousy Deb. Hi, Mousy. Okay. Ray. Yeah. And Darla. Eight of these. This is a nighttime camping scene. I'm not really camping. It's just wilderness. There's your log cabin with the cream, blue, and tan border. You got your canoe, your bear, and that is in every one. And then this one is a little bit different. This one has the squares of the the rustic scenes. It says, Welcome to the woods with pack basket, Adirondack chair, moose, fish, wolf, loon, and a bear, and canoe paddles. And these are also going to be $1.25. Erin, do you have a big Mary Poppins bag? I do, Darla. I do. She's in there. She keeps handing these to me. Or, Brooke. There's eight of these available. An umbrella now. Okay, here you go. 
I pulled out an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. Wall paper one twenty-five. <clears throat> Mousy dub. Jen. Thanks, Mousy. Thanks, Jen. Okay. <laughs> Anyone else? Thank you, ladies. Diana. Okay, next I have these little rolls. These are cute, cute, cute. We get a yard of, it's like the kitchen curtain valance with those aren't cherries. I don't know what kind of cherries maybe. They don't really look like cherries either. <laughs> that you only get one kind in these um these are going to be a dollar just because i don't want to mess with the quarters paper holly berries thank you justine three dollar for a yard. Oops. Kelly Clark will take one. And it's a dark like chocolate brown on the curtains. Mousy Deb. Currants maybe. Yeah, it could be a current. Mm-hmm. Yep, they're big. One left. There's two. All right. Let me know if anyone would like that last one. Now I have the same thing, but in red. The curtains in this one are red. It's the same exact one as the other one, so I don't have to unroll it. There's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen of those available. If anyone would like one. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna well, I'll keep it at a dollar. We'll see. We'll see. Wall paper, one dollar. Oops. Go. You get a yard. And I can open one. Kelly Clark would like one. Thanks, Kelly. Jen would like one. Thank you, Jen. I'm going to knock them down to 50 cents. How about the other ones? The lot, yep, the little single ones that just this sold. One. Yeah, you can sell those for 50 cents too. Wallpaper, 50 cents. They're 50 cents now for a yard of wallpaper. And the one before it, too. Uh, just these. Yeah, yeah the one that sold those. Yeah, this just this one. Just that here? Yeah, just the little brown ones. Okay. Anybody want some? the same ones? 50 cents now. And it looks like this one, only it's red. And you get a yard. Anybody? <laughs> get this wallpaper out of my house, people. <laughs> okay. We have Kelly. Okay. Then you got Jen. And we got Justine. Thank you, Justine. And Diana, and I think Jen wants another one. Mm-hmm. 
general assessment. Yeah. Two of them. Kelly Clark wants another brown. Oh, next section. Mm -hmm. And so I need those two for I need one more. And Jude needs one. And Debbie Long wants three. Do you have enough? Whatever's in your hand. Yep. And Mary's Folly wants two. Okay. Mary's Folly. Mary's Folly. Two red left. Uh huh. Make sure that Kelly Clark gets that brown one that's in there. That one, yeah. That brown one goes to Kelly Clark. Anybody want the last two? Two left. Don't make me do a giveaway. <laughs> Thanks, Mitts. Oh my goodness, Debbie, how exciting! And Mitzi wants one. That is so exciting. Where are you? you is it near you, Debbie? Congratulations, that's so awesome. Debbie Long's daughter is getting married. Getting married Saturday, yeah. Isn't that awesome? Okay, one of those left. All right, and this is actually a different color. The last one I sold was red. This one is more of a brownish red, like a rusty red. And I have three of those. They're just like the other two, only this is a rusty red, and the berry is a little bit more of a, like a cranberry, a deeper color. It's 50 cents. Okay. What do you eat? Uh-oh. Cents. Go. And there's only three of those. Someone called my son old. <laughs> All right, so Jude will take one. Okay. Mousy will take one. Thanks, Jude. Thanks, Mousy. One left. And Kelly Clark will take the last one, and those are sold. Hey, Beverly. How you doing? Welcome. Nice to see you. This is my favorite one. This one's super wide, and I love the black background with all the different berries. This one's eight inches wide. Yeah. Hey, Elle. Nice to see you. So you get raspberries, strawberries, whatever we decided those are, currants. So you get a full repeat of that. It is, hold on, let me measure it. Twelve, twenty-four, thirty. Yeah, thirty inches. <laughs> okay, you're too funny. <laughs> Okay, so you get two and a half feet of this. How wide did I say it was? 30. 10 inches? Uh, nine and a quarter inches. Beautiful berries and flowers. And that'll be, we'll do this one for 50 cents too. Let's just get rid of it. Since I have a ton of it, maybe someone will buy more than one. <laughs> Two 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 14, 16. Okay, so we have Darla. Thank you, Darla. Okay. Patsy. Thank you, Patsy. Okay. Beverly. Thank you, Beverly. Dare. Dare B for two. Jen for one. Anyone else? You can get more than one. They're 50 cents. Two. Six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten left. Good on those. Okay. All right, I have one of these. This is similar to the other ones, only this is the uh, like the uh, the grapevine wreath. Then you do get a whole yard of this one. It's a grapevine wreath and the bows and the hearts and the stars, and it's green and red and gold and tan. And it has the crackly background. There's only one, and since it is a full yard, that is going to be a dollar. Wallpaper, one dollar. There's only one of those. Okay. Uh, Darla wants another one, and Jen wants another one of these. That's one you just did? Yep. Thanks, guys. Darla and Jen. Thanks, Darla. Thanks, Jen. Yep. Cool, Jude. Glad you like it. It is awfully pretty. You could use this in a Christmas journal or a country journal. So it's got the green and the red, or the green and like the burgundy. Okay. This one sold to Jude for one dollar. Okay, this is these. I've shown these, but this is uh, I think this. No, I did. Okay, this is one more of the one I found earlier. I miscounted. So you get three, the three flowers, and you get the laundry what was i charging for those for two, for two pieces was it a dollar how much was it charge a dollar 25 dollar 25 dollar 25 wallpaper you get both of these pieces for a dollar 25 and how many uh one there's only one of these And you get both pieces. You get the herbs and the laundry. That's sold to Jude. Thank you, Jude. Let me just type in sold. And thank you. Okay. This is also kind of a little bit different. This is that... Um, that like tobacco color that I showed earlier. Cool, no. And then you get a piece of the, the laundry. There's just one of these. And this will be $1.25 for both pieces. There's only one of these available. Someone would like that. Okay, 
looks like that is still available. Right. For those of you that just got here, I have one of these left. Oh, that sold to Jen. Thank you, Jen. I have one of these left. You get a yard of this. It's cream and tan with like uh, mauve roses. You get a yard of that. Uh oh, Angie. And you get a yard of the ladybugs with the leaves and the polka dots. And that's a dollar twenty-five for both of those. still available. Okay. And um, I showed that one and I showed that one. Okay. That ends the wallpaper portion of our sale for now. Until I bring it back out later. Torture you again with it. <laughs> All right. Next I have this bag of these are wallpaper, or not wallpaper. This is all pieces of um, wrapping paper. Just piles and piles of pieces of wrapping paper. There's old wrapping paper, new wrapping paper, um, every kind of theme. There's a brand new thing, two-tone tissue paper. This almost looks like an eco print. With the coordinating. There's a bunch of floral, some plaid, some dog prints. This is vintage Daisy. Okay, so you're going to get that whole pile of wallpaper, wrapping paper, sorry, for two bucks. <laughs> this is wrapping paper, not wallpaper. I misspoke. Wrapping paper, locked two dollars go. And all of that. Okay, let me refresh. And that is sold to Rebecca W. Thank you, Rebecca. Can I have another one of those? But this one is different. This one. this one has a lot of shiny in it. You get that out. Oh my. <laughs> so you get gold tissue, silver tissue, silver and printed tissue, um, uh, this is tissue wrap, and you get the green filler paper. Vintage Wedding, Silver, Red and Gold, Red, Wedding, that's an on hope, Red, Iridescent, Gold, and Gold, and then this piece of Vintage, and this piece of Vintage, and that is going to be $2 also. Wrapping paper lot. RGF72. Is that Brenda? RGF72. Who's that? <laughs> Can't keep track. Could be. I don't know. All right. That is sold to Karen Thompson. Thanks, Karen. If anyone's wrapping presents, you're not going to need to buy any tissue paper. There's a ton of it in there. Okay. 
Okay, I showed these yesterday. This is the Sari Silk Bundles. You get seven different pieces on here. Do you remember what I sold those for? Sari Silk. Yeah, this is the A-R-I. $4. Four dollars. All right. So you get seven different pieces of sari silk on here for four dollars. This one looks like it has less, but it doesn't. It's just piled. <laughs> okay. Sari silk. Four dollars. Oops. Okay. A new hunter name. This boy has me. Okay. So that must be Brenda. Yeah, it's Brenda. All right, so we have South Park Kim would like one. Thank you. Mary's Folly would like one. Thank you, Mary. Beverly would like one. And Brooke would like one. And thank you, Kim, Mary, Beverly, and Brooke. Those are sold. I love typing in that word. What, sold. sold. <laughs> I like typing in sold. This is the last. <laughs> uh, this is the only fiber bundle that I had left over from last time. I sold them all but this one. You get... Uh, at least 23 yards of fiber on here. All there's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think there's 10, 11, 12 different ones on here. Fiber. Yeah. And the last time I sold these, I sold them for eight. I will let this one go for six. Fiber. Lot. Yep. Six dollars. Go. Hey, Michelle Noel. Six dollars fall, but don't fall. Go. <laughs> These were eight. Now they're six. Twenty-three ish yards. All right, and that is sold to Hooligan Mama. All right. This is just a bunch of the wallpaper that was left over. Didn't have it to go with another one. I just kind of stuck them all together. There's all different ones in here. Just bunches and bunches of it. All different ones. I'm not going to take them all apart. But if someone would like all of that wallpaper border, they can have it all for $3. Wallpaper border. You're welcome. Oh, it's almost dry. Yes, yay for Josie. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, that is sold to Jen. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> yes, she is. Yes, she is. Next, I have this lingerie roll. For all of you fancy lingerie wearers out there. It's brown and pink. It's got the three pockets. And then it has the big pocket down at the bottom. I think it's silk. You can tell the person who had it used it. The little button is, you know, the fabric's worn off it a little bit. It's the more, more, more It's got a little, little rip right there. It's brown and pink. It's definitely vintage. Very cool. 
yeah, it's for when you go on vacation to keep your lingerie safe so that it doesn't get all, you know, can't mix with the lower class of clothing. Wouldn't that make a cool journal? You have your cover all made for you. You just have to stitch it in there. Uh, that'll be $4. Lingerie roll. Oops. Four dollars. Go. All right, that is still available. Let's see if anybody is interested in that later. Okay. Next, I have Mr. and Mrs. Cowboy Bunny. Oh, you could slow stitch on it. What a great idea. So this is Mr. Bunny. He's a cowboy bunny. <laughs> and this is Mrs. Her little Mrs. Scarf came off. She needs a little piece of girly material tied around her neck. Oh, you want that, Brooke? Okay. Cool. I think you'll love it. Okay. Talk yourself into it. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> okay, so Mr. and Mrs. Bunny, they have, um, they're like little bean bags in their legs, and they stand up. And they both have their little buttons. They're just cute. He's got a little bit of schmutz on his hand. That might be on purpose to make it look older. I don't know. So if anyone would like the pair of those, you're going to get the pair. These were originally $8 a piece from wherever they were sold from. But you can have the pair for $3. Bunnies. $3. All right, those are sold to Patsy. Thank you, Patsy. Okay, next I have a Lavender Fairy Journal. It's got the flower fairies from, I cannot think of her name right now, Cicely Marie, Mary Barker. This is from 2004. It's a spiral notebook. We'll pick, the papers are lined in like a lavender color. Never been used that I could tell. Someone might have used it and ripped a piece of paper out, but there's that. And there's the back. A uh, flower fairy notebook. If anyone would like that for a dollar, they can have it. Fairy notebook. <coughs> For YouTube to catch up. Okay. Okay. All right, that is sold to Darla. Thank you, Darla. Next, I have a lot of two lace table or buffet scarves. This one's orange. Here's what the, the lace around the edges look like. And then there's the orange um, butterflies. Are those butterflies? Yeah, I think, I don't know. They could be butterflies or flowers. And it is, let's see. It is only trimmed. It might actually be, well, it's probably a buffet scarf because, or a dresser scarf because the back of it doesn't have the lace. It only goes around three sides. And it is six. It's about 
two and a half yards long, so it's about seven feet long. It's good size. So you're going to get that one. Uh, just put dresser scarf, dresser scarf lot. And this one is one, two. This one's about a little over six feet long. This one's about two yards. This one's like a peach. There's your flowers. There's your lace around the edges. And the lace goes all the way around this one, all four sides. If someone would like both of those, you can have them both for $3. This is our scarf. What? $3 go. That is sold to Hooligan Mommy, Mama. Okay, next I have this lace and ribbon lot. You get a nice piece of this wide lace with the roses. I'm not as wide piece. The roses, there's a lot in here. Um, some bronze, sparkly bronze. This is really nice. Yeah, this almost feels like it has metal in it. It's pretty cool. You get about mm, a little less than a yard of that. A couple pieces of this. Piece of that. Um, this is, uh, I have a couple of these, so I'm parting with this one. This is uh, chenille rickrack. It's burgundy. Some of this, I don't know what that's called. You get at, uh, get at least a yard of that, maybe around two. Get this rainbow lace, pastel rainbow lace. Looks like about a yard of that. You get quite a bit of this. I love this stuff. This is so great for tags and tassels because it's so thin. Screen lace, you get quite a bit of that. All these, um, these are angels playing trump playing their um Trumpets? Whatever they play. You get, oops. You get, let me see. It's a little tangled. Hold on. Let's see. Come on. It's kind of hard to untangle because they catch. There we go. One, two. There's at least two yards there. So you get three yards of the angels. So quite a bit <coughs> of angels. You get, you cut those apart. Those are cute. If someone would like that, they can have all of that for five. Face lot five dollars. Okay, Tanya. <laughs> no, that would be very uncomfortable. And that is sold to Tanya. Thank you, Tanya. And I'm just going to unceremoniously shove it all back in the bag. It's lace. It doesn't mind. have an owl cookie cutter he already has a little um hanger thing on the top he's from hallmark hallmark cards incorporated he was originally 50 cents i do not see a year um no don't see a year but i'm guessing the 1970s he's an owl he's a cutie pie He's like a marigold kind of color. And he's a dollar for anyone that would like him. If you know someone that has an owl collection, I bet they don't have that in their collection. Okay. 
Thanks, Jude. <laughs> Don't ask her, Dad. She'll have you making here some. She'll put you right to work. All right, that's sold to Brenda. Thanks, Brenda. Next, I have these leather and fur pieces. <laughs> so it's like suede on one side and then it has the fur on the other. I thought these would be kind of cool to put in a in a junk journal. So there's, yeah, there's that piece and then there's this piece. I don't know what these what animal these are from. And I'm sorry if you're averse to this kind of thing. I bought them. And then there's this one. They kind of feel like sheep, like wool. But I don't know. This one in the middle is different. So those are going to be a dollar a piece. Uh, let me see. A, B, or C. Excuse me, and I'll put the ruler up so you can kind of get an idea of the size. And let's see. Um, um, um. Fur? Pieces? Yeah. One dollar. Go. These would be cute die cut into like teddy bears. <laughs> teddy bears or bears. Okay, Karen will take them all. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Sorry for the grunting, the stuff's heavy. I've had these before. This is what I have left. These are Victorian calling cards. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not true. They're not Victorian calling cards. I made that up. These are tally cards. So you get a tally card and a fan with a tassel. I think I was asking like two bucks or something last time. They are going to be 50 cents tonight. Yeah, I have three blue and two pink. That's what it looks like. You can open it up all the way. There's the front. It's got the embossing and the, um, the metallic on there. And there's your pink tassel. Okay. So there's three blue, two pink, 50 cents piece, me and a letter. Okay, Angie. <laughs> uh, tally cards, 50 cents. Go. Yes, it's a fire sale. It totally is. It's, it's, yeah, couldn't tell. Yeah. All right. So Patsy will take a pink and a blue. Patsy. Jen, what colors do you want? Do you want one of each or do you want, what would you like, Jen? You want a pink and a blue or a pink or a blue? Let me know. Mary Crash might have answered and I just want to show up. Jen would like a blue. Thank you, Jen. And on Patsy's, if you want to put them all in one bag, you can. It's up to you. Okay. 
No, no, it's okay, Angie. You can't report. Oh, well, yeah, you don't have a wrench. Uh, and then Lori B will take the last two. One pink, one blue. Yep. Lori B. Lori B. Yep. And those are sold. Correct. I have decided to drop it. I've decided to sell this whole roll. I don't know how many yards are on here. A lot. A lot. So this is stretchy blue with bows. So if anyone's having a boy, baby shower, um, Brooke could use this to make underwear if she wanted. There's yards and yards of it, and it's packed on there tight. If anyone would like that, they can have the whole roll for two bucks. It's okay, Angie. Don't worry about it. What's I'm just going to call it trim. Two dollars for the whole roll. Oh, Angie. Fingers crossed for you, hon. I hope that isn't... Is that Tennessee? No, different. Oh. Angie Bassett's son is on his way to get tested for COVID. Oh. All right, let me refresh. Mm -hmm. And that is sold to Tanya Woodward for $2. Thank you, Tanya. Okay, mm -hmm. next I have this address book. It is vintage. It has the faux leather cover. got the cool um, like coloring at the edges. It's off-white. The paper is off-white. You can see the difference. There are a couple addresses written in here, not very many at all. Yeah. So if someone would like that for $2, they can have that for $2. Must be serious if he's going to the ER. He must be really sick. And it measures eight by five and a quarter. And it is vintage and that is not silver, that is gold and it is, it's embossed. All right, that is sold to Jen. Thank you, Jen. I hope you like that. Okay, these are also left over from my last sale. I know it's not Halloween anymore, but you know, we store stuff, it's what we do. These, I was originally asking a dollar for these. You get a page of stickers. You get three cats and three different house shapes. There's your cats. More than one. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Halloween. And I have two orange and two two green. Um, they're gonna be fifty cents. Oh, I see, Angie. So okay. All right. Uh Halloween. Fifty cents. Just say me and what color you would like, please. You get six die cuts and a sheet of stickers for 50 cents. Anyone? You don't want to store these Halloween ones for a year? You can even give them to a little kid to play with if you wanted to. Anybody? Okay, Jen will take an orange and a green. Thank you, Jen. Two left. Anybody want to store some Halloween decorations? Till next year, or you could just make a Halloween journal. Look how cute those little witches are. There's little chandeliers. You can put them in Happy Nail. I'm begging. <laughs> Please buy them. <laughs> Please don't make me put them away. Okay, Angie Bassett will take one orange. Thank you. One green, one left. Come on, someone wants it. Angie, you want the green one too, right? 
don't normally do this, but I just really want to empty this basket. Anybody, please? <laughs> Lisa Jameson took pity on me and bought it. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, I have to kind of explain this. So here's a slip that belonged once to a little girl. I don't think it belonged to a doll just because the armpits are, you know, kind of roomy. That area right there on a doll, they're usually real tiny and the shorts or the straps are usually short. So it's this little girl slip. And with it, I'm going to put this wedding doll. Her eyes open and close. Her hair is in really good shape. Her dress is in good shape. Her sh Oh, I'm sorry. She's a ballerina. She's pretty awesome. Her, her knees are jointed. Her shoes are painted right on her. She still works. Let's see, are her arms jointed also? Not at the elbow? No, but her, her shoulders are. She's pretty awesome. So you're going to get this. Let's see. Is there anything written on the back? I cannot read it. I can't read what that says. A doll collector would know, but I don't. A doll and a doll and a... It's a slip from a baptism dress. Okay. And hi, Sue. Yep. So if someone would like the doll and the slip... They can have them at a great deal of $5 for both. Doll and slip, $5. And yes, Sue is a smarty. Sue knows all things. <laughs> Her and um, Susan, Susan Gerald, she's pretty amazing too. That is sold to Lisa Jameson. Thank you, Lisa. I'll wrap her up in that. So she's protected a little bit. There you go. Okay. All right, I have some other Halloween things here. I think I was asking $2 for these. You get, oh no, I'm sorry. These are Christmas. What am I talking about? Anyway, you get a Naughty. Naughty is the new nice and Santa's little helper stamp. And you get a box of candy stickers on a roll. And you can have all three of those for, let's see, do I have more than one of those? I have two of those. And those are going to be a dollar a piece. Yep, I have two. They're a dollar. Christmas lot. Two, oh, did I say a dollar? Yep. Dollar. And there's two available. You get 48 stickers and two stamps for a dollar. All right, Jen would like one. And Angie would like the other one. Thanks, Jen. Thanks, Angie. Thank you, ladies. All right, the next one, these all have to do with um, Hanukkah. It says, Happy Hanukkah, Eight Nights, Eight Lights. There's a whole bunch of them in here. If you know anyone that um, that practices Hanukkah or if you are homeschooling and you want to teach your children about Hanukkah, they can use these. Um, anything like that. I will let this whole bag go for one dollar. Mm -hmm. Stamps. Stamps. One dollar. Go. Do you know someone that has a classroom and wants to teach the kids about Hanukkah, like a history lesson? 
be perfect. There are a lot of stamps in here. There are two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven stamps. And then there are, let's see, three, four, six. There's six of one and five of the other. So there's enough sets here for um, five kids to participate in the same activity. All right, that is sold to Angie. Thank you, Angie. Next, I have some quilt pieces in a cigar box. Tampa Nugget, mild cigars. I will measure the box for you. It's a little water stained on the bottom. It's nine by five. And it is two and three quarter inches deep. Here are the quilt pieces that you will get. They, um, I think they're like table centerpiece things. They're really, they are, this one reminds me of Christmas. I would say this is Christmas. It measures, uh, let me see, 12 from tip to tip. It measures 20 and a half. So there's that one and there's the back. The back is just plain white. You could tell it's hand done. I mean, not hand done, but um, like made at home, homemade. There's that one. It's blue, turquoise, um, cream and silver. So here's the other one. This is blue with roses. It's like a dark slate blue on the back. And then the front are different shades of blue. So you get both of those and the cigar box. Can't remember what I was asking last time, but it's definitely going to be less. Uh, how about three bucks for all of that? Cigar box lot, $3. Yeah, you're Angie Bassett, yep. <laughs> That is sold to Tanya Woodward. Thank you, Tanya. And you could, you could do these separate. That doesn't need to stay in there. You know what I'm saying? If you can't get the lid closed. All right, I sold a bunch of these books the last time I had a sale. This is the Flowering House Plants one. This is the only one that did not sell. I'll show you the great thing about these. First of all, it has great pictures to make envelopes. Nice full size, very bright photos. But then you go to the back and you get this lovely picture of all the different flowers. And then it goes into these squares of all the flowers in their pots. And you get page after page after page after page after page. Uh, it's a houseplant book. So you get all those, which are awesome for making tags and all sorts of stuff. You get the, you get that beautiful picture, awesome envelope right there. Then you get all the little squares with the pots. It's just a great book. There's a nice sketch. So if someone would like that for three, they can have that for three. House plant book three. I think I sold them for four last time. I think. Okay, let me refresh. And that is sold to Ray. Thank you, Ray. Halloween thing, but it's not necessarily Halloween. It doesn't need to be. It's a pumpkin decorating kit. You get these circles punched out of felt. They're connected. It's like a garland. And then you get all these little flat backs to decorate it with. If someone would like that for 50 cents. It's a pumpkin decorating kit, but it's just, yeah, 
someone would like that for 50 cents, obviously you don't have to use it to decorate a pumpkin. Um, belt and that. X. 50 cents. Go. We could decorate your journal. I don't know. <laughs> decorate a watermelon. <laughs> Yeah. That'd be one fancy looking watermelon. And this is this is pink and purple felt. It's a deep purple and um like that lipstick pink. No one buys it, I'm just gonna throw it in someone's box. <laughs> I'm gonna someone is gonna get this. Alright, so that's still available. Okay, that is going in someone's box. <laughs> Just throw that in the pile and when you pack up stuff. Throw it in someone's box. I don't want it no more. All right, I think it was Mitzi who was looking. Oh, Darla will take it. Throw it in Darla's box. You get it, Darla. I pulled this out. This is a um, Japanese maiden. It is a complete. Uh, is it cross stitch? Half cross stitch. This is a half cross stitch kit. Brand new in the container. Tape is still intact. Never been opened. There's your eight o'clock and your. Um, all your threads you need it's complete we know how much these are brand new they're like thirty dollars so if someone would like this for five that would make an awesome christmas present they would think that you were like wow yeah half cross stitch mm -hmm. five dollars go yeah you could really impress someone by spending five dollars and i think you spent like 30. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that is sold to Mousy Deb. Thanks, Deb. That's a great deal. I'm glad. All right. Next, I have these Whitland Angie. I have these Whitland chip cards. These are from the Boy Scouts. I just thought these would be fun to put in journals. They're cardstock. Um, if anyone wants any, you can have 25 for a dollar. I'll show you what they look like up close. These are from the Cub Scouts Whitland chip. So-and-so has completed the shavings and chips achievement in the Big Bear Cub Scout book. Blah, blah, blah. There's that. There's that. Is this one signature? Or? No. You're going to get 25 of these for a dollar, and I probably have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to say I have eight sets available at least. What are they called? Uh, Cub Scout cards. Cub Scout cards. I hope if I could spell cards. Twenty-five for one dollar. Uh, hey, Laura. How you doing? And they measure. I wonder if they're the size of a ATC. Let me see. Three and a quarter by two and a half. All right. So we have Jen. Jude and Laura Kai. Thank you, ladies. All right, and there are some still available on those. Okay. Next, I have these natural color reproductions of New York City. 
Oh, this whole pack is an actual postcard. Brenda would like a set of those too, please, Chris. You can see where it says place stamp here. You write your message in there. And then, uh -huh. yeah, I, I did Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts, or Boy Scouts with Grayson. Karen, earlier you had a Laura, is it the same Laura? This is Laura Kai. Did you write Laura Kai? Yeah. Okay. Here's your, and these are also individual postcards. These are so cool. I love looking at the cars and the people's clothes. Is this more than one? Or no? no one. Yeah. So you get 12 postcards in the envelope. Opens right up. Oops, I put them in upside down. Anyway, someone would like all of those 12 postcards, vintage, Those are sold to Jen. And those, this, these little tabs right here. These little tabs right here need to go like under the postcard part. If you can manage that, please. Whatever, do it. Whatever you think. All right. Next, I have these faux leather. Uh, these are to make. Think dream catchers. One second. So you've got brown. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, yes, six, seven, eight, brown, and one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, yeah, dream catcher kit. And each one comes with these hoops that you sew them on. You sew around to make the dream catchers, and I and each one gets a hoop. And those are going to be um, fifty cents a piece. Dream. Well, Catcher kit. What's the matter? Nothing. 50 cents each. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rebecca, you want two and two? Two black, two brown. You guys, tell me what color you want. Rebecca Wills. Two of each. Okay, she's going to take two brown, two black. Jude, what color? Okay, Jude wants a black and brown. There's Jude's. Mm -hmm. Jen, did you say what color you wanted? What color, Jen? Black. Okay, she'll take a black. Okay. Yep, Jen wants a black. Okay. 
and Angie Bassett wants one of each. Mm, Laura Kai wants two of each. Yep, Laura Kai. And Elaine Ingram wants two. Let me know if Brown is okay, Elaine. And I have an extra hoop. Anybody want it? Let me know. <laughs> That's Elaine, and those are sold. Okay, Elaine. She gets Brown. Sure. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's do a little giveaway. I thought these were really sweet. You're welcome. These are just little um, poured ceramic. They're called, I think they're, I don't know. I don't, these have not been fired, so I think they're called greenware, I think. But you can just paint them. Or chalkware. It's two little... There's three mushrooms there. I just thought they were cute. So I'm gonna do that as a giveaway. Okay, uh, mushrooms give away, pick a number one through 75. And These would be really cute painted and put on the front of a journal. In a little woodland journal. I think they're adorable. Something different. Hi, Tammy. Anyone else want to enter? I'll give it about 30 seconds. Wait till it gets to a minute 30. And I'm going to put it in the stop. Man. My lag's about 13 seconds. I'm going to put in the stop. I don't know. I don't know, Angie. I do not know. Maybe someone in chat can help you out. Okay, let's ask Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Can you pick a random number between 1 and 75, please? A random number between 1 and 75 is 21. 21. Thank you, Siri. Okay, okay, so winning number is 21. Now let's see, did anyone pick 21? We have four, 12, Jen has 20. Jen, Jen wins, yay, Jen. Jen, okay. Jen, woo woo. Yay, Jen. These have to be kind of, these are breakable. Okay. So you might want to put them in a little bubble wrap, okay. something. Okay. Please. 
having a birthday party or if you're having a bunch of kids over Christmas or whatever these are all little dudes they are they're funny looking they have funny hair funny faces no everybody someone's gonna get them all um actually I think I'll split them in half we'll do half we'll do two lots of let's see Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Of course, there's an odd number. A uh, parachute men. So we'll do two shots. Two, two shots. <laughs> two lots of parachute men. You get um, eleven men in a lot for a dollar. Parachute men, one dollar. There we go. You get eleven men for a buck. Okay, Lisa will take eleven men. Yep. Anyone want the other eleven? Thanks, Lisa. Those are fun. <laughs> Do a shot for you. Oh, Angie. Next, I have this. It's like a child's magnet set. This is a puzzle that you do on the... Um, what I do with these is I give the kids a cookie sheet and kids love magnets. So I give them a cookie sheet and they sit down and they do the puzzle on the cookie sheet. So that's what I do with the puzzle. And then this one is a little girl and a teddy bear. Is it all one? Yes. This is a, this is just a, like a magnet magnet activity set. And the little girl has, you know, there's the basket. The basket's handle needs to be it's broken off, but it's there. And then there's shoes. And there's the teddy bear's outfit. Her little hair piece. Another little pair of shoes. Ballet outfit. The teddy bear can have a teddy bear. <laughs> there's jammies, bunny slippers, and a hair bow. Oh, wait a minute, I missed, I missed something. You get a lot of clothes for this girl and this bear. A tiara, a purse, a dress, a hat, some more shoes, a sailor outfit, um, overalls, and some more shoes. Then you get this clock, which just needs to be hit with the heat gun. It's just kind of folded, but you hit it with the heat gun, it'll straighten it right out. That's a magnet. And then you have, where's the AM one? And you have AM and PM. Um, it comes with this little puppy magnet. And then you have all the seasons that you put around the clock. Spring, summer, winter, fall. Here's the hands to the clock. And then there's a present that goes with the bears. Oh, and you get, geez, you get a Simba magnet too. <laughs> so that was all in there. The kids used to play with those on the um, cookie sheet. So, yes, it's a teddy bear, not an ugly dog. And hello, Carla. <laughs> <laughs> Plastic man, yeah. Okay, so magnet play set up. 
three bucks. Yes, Mwah, Carla, that's sold to Jude. Thank you, Jude. stock book. Let me see. Can I open it? No. This is a stock book and stock ledger. It has the address book in it. All the pages. It's the, um, it is written in. Of course, you know, we like that though. Um, it says, let's see, name of stockholder, place of residence, Time became owner, certificate number, number of shares, from whose shares were transferred, amount paid, date of transfer, to whom shares are transferred, blah, blah, same thing. Okay, so that has, and everyone, it's not an address book, everyone, you just separate them by name. And there are 52 pages. I'll show you what the front looks like. Um, you get the, the leather corners. It's got a little bit of rubbing right there where it came off. Here's the back. It's got some holes in the fabric in the back. Just some little ones. This is in gold. It's a stock book in gold. It is from, let me see, is there a year on here? Like join in on how you get on to oh, uh, it says stock transfer law as amended in effect July 1st, 1913. So I'm going to say it's from 1913. And the first of me can have that for $12. Stock book. Hey, Keisha. How are you? This is a steal. Should be a hundred me's under this sucker. <laughs> Let's see. All right, that is sold to Dare B. Thank you, Dare. Now watch. Let me know if Steve comes on, you guys. <laughs> We're looking for Steve. Okay, this is a cash book and time book. This is from the, um, the Polish carpenter gentleman. He owned a construction business. Here's the spine. It says cash. Cash book. And it measures about 14 and a half by eight and three quarters. First page has a little bit of a nick out of the corner. Cash is written in that beautiful handwriting on the top of every page. Here's his little meticulous handwriting like we saw yesterday in the other ephemera I sold that, was his, that belonged to him at one time. And it's all in Polish. And this is a really fun ledger, ledger because it says, like, right here, for truck, he wrote T-R-O-K, truck, truck. That must be how you say truck in Polish, maybe? Um, she, yeah, she's going to want me to groom her dog. And this is from... 
It's my neighbor. She wants me to groom her dog. September 1921. Plaster. Uh, lumber. So it's uh, paint. So it's a little bit Polish, a little bit English. Plastering, lumber, brick. Um, let's see, cement. I'm just reading the words I can. I know there's one part in here where he wrote Trucksky. What's his name, is it? <laughs> no, his name's Bozak. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, right, he does write Trucksky in here somewhere. And this is written in fountain pen and um, pencil. But I love how it says cash at the top of every page. I'd love to find that page where he wrote Trucksky. There's a lot of um, the time card, the time in the back where it does the, some of that is, is blank. Copper, furnace, plumbing, toilet, window complete, stairs. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Then you can see his nice handwriting where he wrote everyone's names. That must be a relative. Vatislav Bozek. Must be a relative of his. So anyway, there's that. It has, let's see, are the pages numbered? Probably not. No. Pages are not numbered. Um, we'll start this off, this auction. Started off at 20 bucks. Okay, so let's auction that. I'm not going to time it. YouTube Beaver, groomer dog. <laughs> mm. It's a two day job. Mm. Yep. Keisha said, Hi, Chris. Hello, Keisha. How's that weather in Alabama? Warm there today. I know it's cool in Florida. It's only in 75. Karen's in at 25. Thank you, Karen. We finally broke 32 degrees today. <laughs> Jude came in at 30. Teresa has it at 31. Thank you, Karen, Jude, and Teresa. Any advance on 31? Jude has it at 32. Teresa came back at 33. It's from 1921, Polish Carpenter. Time book. Time book and um, job, job ledger. It said, well, yeah. Floor system, small joist, lolly column, roof. Beam system insurance of labor. Yeah, it's half English, half Polish. What? Oh, uh, Teresa has it at 39 right now. Weather is fairly cool. That's good. Must be a nice break. Karen has it at 40. Thank you, Karen. Jude came back at 41. Any advance on 41? And when you're out, let me know. Teresa came back at 42. Thank you, Teresa. Plumbing. Fixtures, he wrote F-I-K-E-R-E-S. <laughs> uh, stove, glass stove front. Lolly column. Some kind of ceiling, plaster wall, cellar window. Teresa has it at 44. Studs under joist. 19 windows complete. One by twos. One by eights. Teresa's out. Thank you for letting me know, Teresa. Jude has it at 46.50. Cellar wall. 
cellar floor, brick wall. Clabbards. Mm, floor, ceiling. Okay, Jude has it at 49. Any advance on 49? Let me know. Nails, hardware, lath. Labor, plumber, painting, plastering. <laughs> plumber was $120. <laughs> painting, $300. Plastering, $350. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, building paper. Okay, Jude has it at 49. Any advance on 49? Let me know. If you're out, let me know. And then I will put in last call. Ironing boards. Ha. Closet complete. Stair complete. Door complete. Cool. All right, let me put in last call. <clears throat> See if we have any advance on 49. Oh, there's Karen. Okay. There's Karen in at 50. Thank you. Jude, if you're out, let me know. So the total is $3,690.84 with labor at $1,845 for the house. 1920, this one's 1927. Oh. Okay, Jude is out, and that is so, oh, let me put in the last call. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Last call. Let me put last call in. We'll give it about 15 seconds. See if anyone else wants to pop in. Don't want to do what I did yesterday or the day before. <laughs> in trouble all right and that is sold to karen for 50 dollars. thank you karen you're gonna love it it's really cool okay next i have some hi Teresa. hello hello Ooh. Sorry, this is so loud. The plastic up. Everything's taped everything out. There we go. Okay. I have some German die cuts. And if they're not German, I will let you know. These are more than one kind in here. Let me see. Yes, there are. These are going to be $3. So I have one, actually two of the shoes. Are they German die cut? Yeah, German scrap, German die cut. Two of the shoes and one small pansy and one large pansy. So we can do A, A, B, and C. So you have the shoes, you get one, two, three, four shoes, and then all the other stuff. This is the smaller pansy, and then these are the larger pansies. They're $3 a piece. Uh, let me see. German scrap. Three. Is that what I charged last time? I can't remember. I think I did. $3. Go. And if you need me to hold anything up, let me know. Okay, Jude will take one of each. Let me just refresh. Okay. Okay. Uh, three. And then that's fine. Yep. And I had two of this one. It's okay. Take your time. Take your time. It's all right. 
And this one is for Laura Kai. Thank you. Okay. Next, I have the Posy Hearts. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get 32 hearts. There's two of those available. That'll be A. B are these hearts, they have glitter on them. There's one, two, three, four, five of those available. That'll be B. And C are these hearts. These are the bigger hearts with the little um, fairies or angels, whichever you want to call it at the bottom. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. And I apologize for the glare. I know it's probably making y'all blind. Three colors. Elaine Ingram. Take a C and so you don't see the hearts, they're right here. See the hearts? Okay. So Laura Ingram C. Elaine Ingram. Yes, sorry, Elaine Ingram. Take a C and an A. Jude would like one of each. It's okay. Hearts with flowers. They're gone now. Is this one Jude? Yeah. Okay. How many? Okay. Uh, three. Jen will take one of each. One of each, Jen? Is that what you meant? Everybody that's here has already subscribed to me, Angie. But thank you, though. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, smokes! I got a pile of these. All right, these are bouquets and like um, I don't know what else to call them. Floral wreaths. There's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. That'll be A. Thanks, Jude. Let's see, these are roses with a heart at the top and a dove. We get the roses in the barrel, the bouquets, the large single roses. 
There's those, and there are six of those. That will be B. And C is also roses, but these are more of bigger. You get big roses with the baby's breath. Then there's um, fish in a fishbowl which is pretty cool. Then you get the big urn or the big um, flower pot in the middle with the little cherubs on the side. And then the pottery vase at the top. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And that will be C. So $3. Jude will take A and B. Thanks, Jude. These are sparkly. These have sparkles on them. So a little bit more pricey than the other ones, but they're all going to sell for three. Maybe I'll just take one out of each instead of taking them all out of the bag. Thanks, Jude. Surprised nobody wanted to see with the little the fish in the little fish bowl. I thought he was cute. Yeah, I'm gonna take out one. That's the smarter way to do it. <laughs> of course, it just occurred to me. Mousy Deb will take a C. Thanks, Mousy. There you go. Thanks, Jude. the butterflies you get two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen butterflies these do have glitter all different colors every color of the rainbow on here trying to get the glare off there there we go oh I already told her put a piece of paper under that so you guys can actually see it Okay, so that's the butterflies, and I have, well, we'll see. I have more than one. All right. Butterflies, $3. Go. <laughs> supposed to say $3. I didn't fix it. Okay, so we have Elaine, no. Darla, okay. Rebecca Wills, okay. uh, and Jude. Thank you, ladies. There are one, two, three. There's four of those left if anyone wants one. Hey, T. 
Tina. Next I have this one. This one has a frame. Um, these are from England. They're pansies and roses. And they're embossed and debossed all around the edge and everything. That one's three dollars. Hello, Aaron and everyone. I hauled away eight heaping piles. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of leaves. Ooh, you better take a Tylenol, Tina. <laughs> Three dollars. Karen, that is sold to Karen Thompson. Thank you, Karen. Put that right back in the little bag it came out of. Is that one of those? Yeah. So delicate. You have to be so careful of them. <laughs> You're stronger than that. All right, cool. Okay, next one I have is she has a frame around her also. She's in a pink coat. Looks like a pink velvet coat with white fur and a pink hat with white fur. And then the holly and the white holly berries around the edge. And I apologize for my shaky hands. And that one is going to be $3. And that is sold to Lisa Jameson. Thank you, Lisa. Next, I have some angels. Boy, Laura Kai, you got one heck of a lag, girl. Okay, I only have, yep, I only have one of these. This is the angels with the with the little bells. I only have one. You get ten angels, and then the angels with the little bells, and this this has the glitter on it. There's only one of those. That's funny. That's funny, Josie. Thirty second lag. All right, let me let me wait. Let me give it a couple more seconds just to make it fair. Hold on. First, you need to subscribe. Does he have to have an address or something? Yeah. He has to have a YouTube account. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. well, That's all he needs. Anyway. Thanks, to... Jude. If he watches YouTube, yeah. then <clears throat> probably. All right, that is sold to Karen Thompson. Thank you, Karen. All right, this next one, there's plenty. This one's a little bit different. The bells are bigger, and you get... um. The angels are a little bit different in size. Wow. Yeah, mine's about 15 seconds on my on my um my iPad. It's about a 15 second lag. So these are a little bit different. These have four or six big bells, and then you get the same amount of angels. They're just um a couple different sizes, and the bells are are bigger. And this has glitter. And I have 
Mm, quite a few of these. So go ahead and put your me in if you want one. Thanks, Kat. And of course, everything's prettier in person than it is on TV. No. All right, so we have Kelly Clark. Jew. Okay, you Elaine Ingram. Mm -hmm. okay. And Jen. There's three left, if anyone would like one of those. Um, I don't know what, do you know? Mm, no, Tina, you didn't get any, did you? Tina, I don't think you got any. Uh, not my list. Huh? No. Does she want something if you had? She wanted a pansy, but someone else got it. So how many do I have to give you? Four? Yeah, there you go. Let's see if I can find an opening to strike here. Last one I have is this one. This is Pansies. It's a little bit thicker. It's more cardstock. This one's also going to be three dollars. It's two girls sitting in a garden. Looks like a mother and a daughter picking flowers. Okay. Uh, there was only one pansy, and um, Karen got it, Jude. Let's see. Maybe Tina will get this one. She likes pansies, so maybe she'll get this one. Refresh, and that is sold to Karen. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, ladies. And that actually came with a card. I'm going to put that right in there with it. It's just a blank card. If I can get it in there. Let's do this. Okay, Karen. I can do that. Tina. Tina O. But Tina O have it. No. Tina O. That's very nice. Thanks, Karen. That was nice of you to do that. Okay, so what I have left is roses. Roses. Flowers. Roses. Different roses. Butterflies and angels. Is anyone interested in seeing any of those? These are the ones I already showed. If anybody missed any or would like me to show them again, I can do that. Or are we good? Does anyone want to... Oops, cannot type. Does anyone want to see... Um, Typing them again. Oh, Tina, that stinks. So there's all different roses and butterflies and angels. No, <laughs> Karen, no. <laughs> Tina, like it. Uh, 
Yes. She's getting. Oh, she wants. She got what she wanted. She wanted the pansies, so she got. She got them. Yeah, Tina Owen. Mm -hmm. No pansies in there for Tina. No, nope, they're all roses. And no, um, no poppies for Darla. Are you done with this? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. All right, I offered these before. I think I sold these for a dollar last time. This time they're going to be 50 cents. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's all right. I have to show. Okay, this is a tree and a teddy bear. I have six of these available. If I can get it open, I will show it to you. <laughs> So you had a hair appointment? Oh, it's blonde. Wait, she's talking about your hair appointment from a while ago or did you go again? It doesn't matter. I'm not that snoopy. Okay, so you get a tree and then you get all the pieces to make the bear. You get the front, the back, the head, the body, the arms, everything to make the bear and a tree. Okay, so it's gonna be 50 cents for the tree and the bear. I'm not done showing yet. You're fine. And then this is a little doll. Oh, you went blonder. Nice. Nice. Good for you. This is a little doll. Here's the front, and there's the back. Okay. So these are going to be 50 cents. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I have six bears and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dolls. The bears are A. What are these called? I don't know. Dolls and bears. I don't know. And the dolls are B. So they're 50 cents. 50 cents each. All right, Jude will take one of each. Thank you, Jude. That's the bear. Mm -hmm. That's the doll. I think Jen wants one of each. Yep. Jen. Um, did I give you? I gave you one for Tina, right? Did no, I give you a bear no. for Tina? Jen and you. Okay, Tina. Tina wants a bear. Yeah. Tina. Oh. Yep. Lizzie Brewer, one of each. Oops. Oh, good. Yep, he should, Angie, for sure. And Laura Jersey will take that one. That's the bear. I have one bear and four dolls left. Gets his results tomorrow. Okay, fingers crossed for him. And he should definitely stay away from people, yes. I agree. Never had my hair colored. Okay, let me put this little dolly back in her bag so I can find it. Hmm. Her bag flew away. All right, next I have this is a Santa bear. Or a bear dressed up like Santa. Show you what she looks like. There's only one of him. He's good size. 
or is it a moose? We went through this last time. It's a bear dressed as a moose. There's the front. And then the back is just muslin, plain muslin. Okay, it's a bear <laughs> dressed up as a Santa moose. Same thing. Yeah. Okay, so he's 50 cents. Uh, Teresa, I had I had a couple. Um, I did what I had already. It was uh, I thought you were here. What were you looking for? Asian items. Bear, fifty cents. I cannot spell. Let's go. Teresa, email me or, or message me and, and I'll get I'll get together with you. We'll figure that out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that goes to Jude. Okay. Here's the doll bag. Yeah, he's cute, isn't he? He's the only one I had left. I sold all the rest last time. Okay. All right. And the last one I have of this stuff is this. Oh, sweatshirts. Yeah. This is a star with the words joy, the letters joy, J-O-Y. So you get the letters J-O-Y and a star. Except. Tina, it's okay. Do not worry about it. What? Wait, what? What for what? Star. What's up, Tina? Okay. 50 cents. Good. Okay, let me refresh. And that goes to Lizzie Brewer. Thank you, Lizzie. 50 cents. You gotcha. There you go. Only one moose. You collect those, do you collect moosers? Oh, there's a bear left. Okay, Teresa. So what's left is one bear and three dolls. I'll put them in again. Let me just put her back in her bag. Oh, good for you, Keisha. Coffee. Okay. Oh, four dolls. Four dolls and one bear. 50 cents each. In case anyone changed their mind and they would like one more or want to add to what they already have. Okay, we're good on those. All right. Okay, this is the only set I have of these. Oh, Dare would like a bear. All right, there you got it. Dare beef for the bear. Thank you. 
Does the tree have a front and back? No, it's just the front. You'd have to use muslin for the back. Okay, here is a Chris. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I jumped the gun. This is the only pack I have of these. I'll show you what they are. Okay. This is a whole bunch of leaves. It just folds over. my mind here 12 13 14 15, 16 16 leaves uh four dollars 16 fabric no, I only have one. Four dollars. Leaf die cuts. Oh, me will be good. <laughs> You can always snip it off later, Laura. Just put it on there. Just do it. If you don't like it, you can cut it off later. And these are the prints you get. Some of these are actually backed on cardstock. And this is vintage material. The only the only fabric here that's new is this one. And this is upholstery fabric. The rest of it is all vintage. Vintage prints. Of course you do. I don't want anything to do with leaves right now. <laughs> ah, gotcha. <laughs> That's funny. Poor Tina. I'm giving her I'm giving her PTSD here. <laughs> huh? Am I giving you PTSD with these leaves? Poor girl. Yeah. They don't want to go in the way they were. They never do. Come on, get in there. I got a pickup load in my eyes, hair, and nose. Oh, I gotcha. That must feel just fantastic. Okay, so next I have this Christmas fabric bundle. You get quite a bit. Get this pretty strip of green. I love this. This is probably my favorite Christmas print. Nice bright bulbs. These are all folded in half, by the way. Bears and hats. You get all these little squares. Christmas material. Yeah, yeah bunch of squares and then you get a fat quarter of that fabric. <clears throat> poinsettias, cherries, grapes, pine cones, acorns, and greenery. And this is all vintage fabric. It's not new. Well I know this is from 1994 so it's 16 years old. So there's that, and someone can have all that nice Christmas fabric. You don't even have to buy a stitch of it anywhere else. You have your cover, your embellishments, your ties, everything for a Christmas journal is here. You will even have extras. Cut it out. And uh, let's see. How about $4 for all that? I told you cut it out like 20 times yesterday. You didn't make that face. It 
it was scary, Aaron. <laughs> All right, that is sold to Patsy. Thank you, Patsy. A little baggie over there. You can throw that in. Thanks. Okay, next fire sale item, which is from before, are these. Let's see. Mm. Oh, I got to reach. Oh! I, I got it. I did it. I love monkey arms. Okay, I only have two. Looks like two of those. Is this the same? That's the same. That's the same. Same. Yes. Those are the same as that. Only one of those. Okay, so what I have here are, this is one yard of lace wrapped on. I printed these and cut them out. They all have roses and um, sewing theme words on them and stuff. So you're going to get a yard. These were originally, I think I was charging two for them. We'll do them for a dollar. This is the first. I'll take the lace out and show you guys what it looks like. are starting to get sore. So there's what the lace looks like. You get a yard of that wrapped on the cardstock dress form. And that's going to be a dollar. And that lace, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six of those available. Oh, my God, Nice. Um, right, Angie, stretch. Okay. Thomas, I'll get you barking. Happy meal out tomorrow. Important things today. Jean Peters present. Oh, good. Feels good to cross things off your list, doesn't it? All right, so I have these. No, I haven't. I've have never done that. No. Okay, so I have lower jersey. Okay. Mousy Deb. Okay. Teresa Petro. Okay. And Jen. Thank you, ladies. Cool. Aaron, you need to move that lace up. Some singer boobs will be covered. What? Oh, you're silly. Okay, here's this one. I only have one of these of this kind of lace. Okay. This is what this lace looks like. You get a yard of that. I only have one of these. There's that. One other. That's okay, Angie. You're all right. Well, let's hope that works out for you, Tina. All right, that is sold to Mousy. Thank you very much. Okay, 
This is an especially large, I think I only have one of these also. I have some other wide lace, but I think I only have one of this kind of wide lace. This is folded in half. Got the roses. One. It's folded in half. You get a yard of that. And that is one dollar. Right, that is sold to Elaine Ingram. Thank you, Elaine. This next one I have five of. This is a cream colored lace. is stretchy somewhat not super stretchy but it's stretchy this is cream colored that's what it looks like okay and there are five of those available Deb, you came in before the go. Let me know. Okay, there we go. Deb and Jude would like one of those. Thank you. Three of those left. Those are, huh? Yes. Okay, and this is the last kind I have. Thanks, Keisha. All right. You're okay. This is a wide one. Um, it's a little different than the other one. This is a little iridescent and it has the flowers in like a swooping pattern. And the edges are different. The top edge and the bottom edge are different. And it's pretty wide. You get a yard of that. I don't know, I have to count. Here, and I've seen it before you even place it in. I don't know what that means, Andy. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, I have six of those. Rebecca, which one did you want? She wants, okay. okay. So we have Rebecca Wills. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want me to hand it to you with the top open? Uh, Hooligan Mama. No. 
mousy dub. South Park Yum. Take it. One last. Is Christine in here? Uh, that is uh, Jen. Where's Christina? Did I miss her? I don't see her. Oh, that cake. Okay, never mind. You're talking about Keisha. Okay. Alrighty. No, I don't have any more. I'm good. Thank you. Well, how many did you just uh, get rid of on that one? That last one? I got rid of them all but one. I guess. I can look. Five. All right, next I have this. This does not have the key. You can you can order one. They're all the same. Um, this is a reproduction of a lane trunk. When you buy a lane trunk, you get a little mini one. It's got a ding right here, but it smells so good. It's cedar. There's the top. There's the side with the lock. There's the side. There's the hinges, and then there's the bottom. Someone got a little ink or something on the bottom. And then inside of that, you get this little book. It says Mandalay and Other Poems by Rudyard Kipling. It's a little book. Uh, let's see. It is from, it was printed in the United States. I do not see a year on it. It's old. You also get... We get a microfiche. You get three of the Lionel train warranty certificates. They are filled out. Uh, this one's from 1967, 1967, and 1967. Three of those. You get a Shoneman Beauty Supply card. This is just all ephemera. Kind of. So you get an orange one, a cream one, a yellow one, and another cream one with green writing. And you also get these are all from, these are French, and these are from a French dictionary, and they're the color plates that were in the French dictionary. So you get the birds, you get the artwork, ships, fish, butterflies, planes and jets, more artwork, you get a fold-out map, map of the world, on this side, some more artwork, and my favorite, the mushrooms. Look at all that. And I'm just going to flat price it, you guys. I'm going to flat price it for 10 
Let me finish. Again, that is sold to Jen. Thank you, Jen. Jen, there's a surprise in your trunk for you. I never put those in your trunk. Surprise in there for you, Jen. <laughs> All right, I have some junior artist pastels. They are a little bit used. Most of them are brand new. The only one I see used is red, this purple, black, blue, pink, and gray. The rest of them are in pristine condition. You get 25 pastels in here. We know how pricey these are. And the first, these are first quality student pastels. Mm -hmm. um, pastels. First person, first me can have those for three. Yep, she got a trunk too. <clears throat> and some surprises inside. Oil, they're oil. Okay. Okay. All right, those are sold to Jen. You're going to like those, Jen, they blend really nicely. Okay, next I have a lot of yeah. I have a lot of buck, 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 buck. <laughs> belt buckles. Actually, we'll do them separate just in case three different people want them. They are um, copper tone. That's what the back looks like. There's the front. They measure three inches. Those will be a dollar a piece. Buckles. Another inch. Inch. This does not want to type. Inch. Sitting next to the fire is nice out here, Keisha. She doesn't have a stove, so I'm cooking me a hot dog. <laughs> cooking a hot dog in the fire or the microwave, Angie? Buckles. One dollar. Oh, all of them. Just have to wait till YouTube catches up. Get all three for a dollar. You sure you're having a hot dog too? It does. Yeah, chili dog would be really good. Okay, so those are still available. The Cub Scout activity book. This is from 1970. The 
this is going to be two bucks. I'm going to spend all day going through it. There it is. Activity book. It's a whole two dollars. It's from 1970. Cub Scout. Here's the, uh, what's that derby? Pinewood. The Pinewood Derby, yep. Yeah. Nobody knows any Cub Scouts. Nobody's doing a Boy Scout journal. All right, that is still available. This is Wizard of Oz. This is a different one than the one I showed yesterday. The, um, the spine is a little bit like pushed. <laughs> Angie said she's out back by the fire eating hot dogs. Wish I was out back. It's snowing. Okay, so this one is a little bit worn, so we'll do that for $2. I'm sure you could fix it, but all right, Laura, enjoy your dinner. I know, Josie, there's something, aren't they? <laughs> All right, that is sold to Jen. Thank you, Jen. Next, I have this uh, flying machine journal, Par Avion. That's the Eiffel Tower in every corner of every page. It is lined. There's your gilded edges. There's the back. Oh, there's your spine. I'll measure it for you. It is ooh, five and fourteen sixteenths by eight and a quarter. So there's that. If someone would like that, they can have that for $2. And I spelled journal wrong. It's a typo. I'm not fixing it. <laughs> okay. All right, that is sold to Tina. Oh, thank you, Tina. I have this little pile of ephemera, favorite holiday recipes from Rochester Gas and Electric. It has what I would call a gingerbread house on the front. It is... Nineteen fifty. It's got all kinds of little recipes in it. This is an ephemera lot, so you get that. Mm -hmm. This is the crop inventory record and memo book. This is from nineteen twenty-seven. Person wrote their name in it and never used it. I like these little calendars. Those are really cute. Okay. 
This is the truth about hair. Japanese oil. National Remedy Company. It's growth in your and nourishment. It's a dollar a jar. That. You get Wampole's preparations. This is a blotter, an ink blotter. It's still in really great shape. That's funny. And it's got all the dudes on there. I don't know what year that is, but. And you get frosted loaf cake rum for baking powder. That's another ink blotter. They didn't use it very much, though. This is the Harris Catalog for Stamp Collectors from 1957. And then you get the hostess with the mostess. Look at that a picture on the front. She's great. Woo! There's some more nice, cool images in there. This looks like 50s to me. Boating parties. Wilson. Wilson and Company. There's that one. And then you get the Homemaker Helper Kelvinator Wartime Idea Exchange for Home Economists. So this is when there are rations during World War II. It gave you ideas on how to... Uh, Substitute different things in your recipes. It's an exchange. Kitchen counter, space for electric mixer, sliding shelves. That's what that is. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces of ephemera. They're all pretty cool. And how about for all that? $12. Ephemera lot, $12. Look at mom, I don't drive, so I fly a broom wherever I go. <laughs> it is faster, it has jets on the back of it. Keisha, I could have stopped and got you, but you were busy. <laughs> yes, Angie has a stick up her butt, I mean on her butt. <laughs> too funny you guys are hilarious it's a lot of ephemera if you're doing a any kind of journal you get one two three four five six seven eight that is a wonderful price one wants that for eight or I mean twelve just a little over a dollar a piece. Okay, let me see. All right, I'll put it down to 10. Okay, let me brush. And that is sold to Jen for 10. Thank you, Jen. Go. Jen, you're going to have lots of cool ephemera to work with. This is a little book about a doggy. It's called Chips, Story of a Cocker Spaniel. This is a well-loved ex-library book. This page has a rip. And he's really cute. And the pages are nice and thick. Oh, what year is this? This is 1944. Chips. Chips is his name. C-H-I-P-S. Chips. There's butterflies and little boys playing with their dogs. Look at that picture of him in the gladiolus. So cute. So there's that. That's going to be two bucks. Chips. Two dollars.
Yes, there are a lot of things to do. <laughs> right, Angie? And this is a pretty good size book and it has a chipboard cover. It measures 10 by seven and three quarters. And there's your back. He's on the back there, chips. Anyone? No? Oh, that is still available. Okay, I will, but you have to look for me. I drive like a madman. <laughs> oh, you're a goony, goony, goon. Okay, this is a gorgeous book. It is out of copyright. This is from Christmas 1886. It's called From Gold to Gray. It's by Mary D. Brine. And I am going to auction this off. Every page is beautiful, back and front. It has poems, cut it out, and ladies and birds. Look at her, she's gorgeous. Okay, and it is from, like I said, it's from 18... 1886 and look how pretty she put her name in the book it's got gilded edges there are 192 pages so there are 192 gorgeous scannable images in this book it's beautiful Okay, so let me open it to a page and see if it'll stay. Probably not. I'll use this one on here. That's, let's see, we'll go to a real pretty page. We'll put it on her. Okay. Okay. So from gold to gray, auction. I'm going to start it at 20. Yeah, this book is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful book. Laura Kai comes in at 20. Laura knows what a deal that is. Ray came in at 24. Karen's back at 25. Any advance on 25? Ray came back at 26. Josie's in at 30. Thank you, ladies. Karen came back at 31. Let's see, we have Josie, no, Jude at 36. Ray came back at 37. Nice bidding. Thank you, ladies. Karen has it at 40. Jude came back at 45. Ray has it at 46. Josie came back at 48. Karen has it at 50. Thank you for the bidding, ladies. Karen has it at 50. There's about a 13 second lag, so. <laughs> Jude has it at 51. That's Hooligan Mama is Josie. Ray 
going to advance on 51. Ow. Karen came back at 52. Thank you, Karen. Oh, the back of my hair is all knotted up. Ray is out. Thank you so much for letting me know, Ray. And thank you for bidding. I appreciate it. Jude came back at 52.50. Karen came back at 53. Josie has it at 54. Thank you, ladies. Karen, it's at 56. Jude is out. Thank you for letting me know, Jude. I really appreciate that. Any advance on 56? Okay, I'm going to put in last call. Okay, we'll put in last call. And there's last call. Give it about 15 seconds. See if anybody else wants to bid. And oh, Jude came back at 57. Oh, you big fibber, Jude. Karen came back at 58. Thank you, Karen. Jude has it at 58.50. Can't bid, I just picked her up. Karen has it at 60. They're out on the porch. That's what you're looking for. Oh, oh you're just looking. Okay. So let me put in last call again. sold to Karen Thompson for $60. Nice, Karen. Congratulations. You're going to love that book. It is, whew, it's nice. <laughs> it is nice. Congratulations, and thank you, everyone, for bidding. Thank you so much. I love Bitsy's thumbnail picture. All right, this next one is Herb Olson's Guide to Watercolor Landscape. This has all kinds of um, watercolor pictures in it, and it starts you out simple in the front and then gets to more complicated towards the back. It's got all these color plates and stuff. There's the sketch and then there's the, the rough bin. It just keeps going like that and there's all kinds of pages with these watercolors in them. Nice thick pages. There's another one that he painted. So just all kinds of beautiful illustrations and paintings in there. And if someone would like that, they can have it for $3. Oops. Hey, Barb. Welcome, welcome. I got your magnets out, Barb. I'm using your magnets you gave me. <laughs> And this paper is really nice. It's thick. The 
like really thick paper and this measures this is a nice big book it measures 12 by oh sorry sold the cat, cat. thanks cat My letters never popped up. Oh, I just took them off. Yeah. Want to hand that to me? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so I have these really neat lunch napkins. Um, they're definitely vintage. I'm not sure what year they're from. I would say the fifties, I would guess there are, I think three different kinds. There's that one. Is Okay, so there's five different designs. They're going to be a dollar a napkin. I'll tell you what they are in a second. So the first one is Twixt Optimist and Pessimist. The difference is Joel. The, op the Optimist, the Donut Sees. The Pessimist, the Whole. And they look like cross stitch. You can just make a list for each letter. I'm trying to open it. There we go. Oops. Sorry, I hit the camera. <laughs> That's what it looks like open. And it's got the texture like um, cloth, like linen. Okay. So that's A. There's only three of those. And I'm sorry, I paid a lot for these, so that's why I'm charging a little bit more. This one says, the hurrier I go, the behinder I get. And it looks, these all look like cross stitch. This one says, apple pie without some cheese is like a kiss without a squeeze. These are so cute. <laughs> that's C. This one says, kissing don't last, cooking do. That's D. And then E says, although you find our house a mess, come in, sit down, converse. It doesn't always look like this. Sometimes it's even worse. How cute are they? Is it the same amount each five? Uh, I think they all have five except for the first one. Two, four, six. Two, four, five. Yeah, they're all different amounts. Okay, so these are, you know what? Let's do 75 cents each. 75 cents each. And you can get as many as you want. They're frameable. I, I would frame, I think they're cute. <laughs> And go. <clears throat> okay, Jude will take one of each. Is there any way you can um, keep all the files together? Yeah, I'll just do this. I'll just kind of slide them forward. Okay. And then, I get a note and then I'll know when I run out. Yep. Okay, that's okay. Okay. 
Okay, and she wants to be. Who's that? Jude. Uh, e. e. Anyone else? I thought you guys would love these. I've spoiled you with my cheap prices. <laughs> All right, Dare will take one of each. Thank you, Dare. Okay, one else. Angie Passet will take an A. And a B. A is gone. Okay, anyone else? All right, those are still, oops, so B through. E still available. Okay. So here's A. Here's A. I thought you wanted me to keep them in a pile for you. You want to just do them in a do them layer them. You want to just press. Look at me. Yes, you can. Look, just layer them in the box. Do A. Put your list. B. Your list. C. Your list. Oh. Oh, you do like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, do you have, I was confused, yes. A, A, no. A, B, C, 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 also C, D, E, and E. Thank you for being patient with us, guys. <laughs> oh, boy, Jude. I feel you, hon. My house has been a wreck <laughs> for quite a while. All right, how about some Jack and Jills? Jude said, you're doing a good job, Mr. Chris. Thank you. <clears throat> I have these all taped up. I'll take one out for you and I'll show you. You guys know what Jack and Jill's are, though. Um, this is a better magazine for boys and girls. Jack and Jill, March 1957. Story, tiny tales, stories, cutouts, puzzles, and things to make. Yes. Girls page, boys page, the turtle takes the news. <laughs> Storm song. I'll just flip through this one. You guys, yeah, you guys get an idea. Playtime pages for March. There's the cutouts. Yeah, it's a thicker paper. Kenneth and Ken. Right, Angie? I gotcha. There's a rooster. Yeah, 
Animals in the news. Letters. More stories. And there's the back. And then there's your subscription uh, thing that you would tear out. Okay. So these are going to be a whole $2.25 a piece. And if you don't mind, I would like to do random. Do you guys want random or do you want choice? Huh? We'll do choice? Okay. All right. Oh, uh, where'd my A go? I can't believe how easily I lose these. Um, let me see. Okay, so A, B, C. And all three of those are from 1957. This is March, April, December. Okay, and I said 250, right? 25. I did? Yep. Okay. 225 each. Ray for C. Yes, you can. You can. Yeah. You can put it in, or you can tape it on the front. The actual paper, and they have to open it. Um, Patsy for A. And Lynn for B. Thank you, ladies. Lynn yeah. All right. Next, I have February 1958. That will be A. And January 1958. How cute is that? Stinking face. That'll be B. And then we have a kitty cat, April 1959, four, C. Okay. Two, 25. <laughs> Brenda. <laughs> oh, Brenda, you love troublemaker. Southpaw will take A. Kim. Thank you, Kim. Ray will take B. Okay. <laughs> and Patsy will take C. Thank you, ladies. Next, I have May of 1959. We're going to plant a garden. In September 1959, these guys are going to school with a dog. That is B. And August of 1959. Looks like these guys are moving into the farmhouse. And that is C. And after this, I only have one left. Hi, Donna. Welcome, welcome. Oh, there's a glare on that one. Sorry, guys. That's what it looks like. It's a little better. Ooh, 
everybody wanted C. Okay, so Ray gets C. Nobody wants A or B. Okay. This is the last one. This is July 1957. It's a boy sitting on his boat fishing. I can't show you the back because there's a piece of cardboard behind it. Okay, Patricia Cook will take B. Thank you, Patricia. And little kids gardening. Two. Yeah. Oh, 225. I'm sorry. I meant to put 225, you guys. 250. Yeah, it's 225. They're 225, not 250. My mistake. Anybody want the fisherman? He's cute. He's got his little straw hat on. Okay, Pat Smith will take that. Oh, hello, Pat. And this is the last one left. Does anyone want this one? It's two little kids going out to plant. There's a Shirley Temple paper doll in this one. It says on the front. Okay, Ray will take the last one. There we go. All right, cool. And I'm just true to my word. I did some whale tail punches last night while I sat in the chair. I was delirious, so who knows if I'm going to remember anything about them, though. <laughs> All right. you're going to get 10. This is the, what these look like. These are This is like watercolor paper. It has the texture. So you have the gray side and the brown and the yellow and the gray side. That's what those look like. There they are. You get 10 for 50 cents. And there are four of that kind available. And that's what they look like. What are you doing? Whale tails. Uh, 50 cents. Yep. And you could just write the person's name right on the envelope if you want. Speech roll. Can I write it again? You sure can. Okay. Rebecca Wills. Except for that one. Okay. And then this one is. This is gray with brown flowers, and then it's brown on the other side. This is also the uh, like the watercolor paper texture. And that's what those look like. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. Wheel, tails, 50 cents, go. And here's the gray with the brown and the orange. That's what it looks like. Brown on the other side. Okay, so Rebecca Wills would like one. Thank you, Rebecca. And Jude will take one. Thank you, Jude. I don't say anything. Okay. Okay. She's going to empty. 
This has script on one side and brown and like brown flowers. These are kind of shabby looking on that side. And there are three of those, no, four. Four of those available. Okay, it doesn't feel like there's anything in that one. Oh, yeah. Four of those available. This is what they look like. They have the script. Okay. Decent. Oh my god. Sorry, I forgot the H in whale. <laughs> these have script if anybody wants these. That's what the back looks like. He's interested in those. Okay. Where my clip went. Okay, this is the next set. These are brown and pink. Oh, cat will take a set of those. Thank you, cat. These are, these have um, script on one side. <laughs> oh, Teresa Petro wants one of those too. And then it has like the pink, kind of pink and cream wall on the other. You get 10 for 50 cents. That's for Teresa Petro. Thank you. There are three of those available. Here's what they look like. I'm not fixing it. Cool. Oh, no, I forgot the H in the last one. Okay, so we have Angie Bassett. Thank you, Angie. Kay Borland. Thank you, Kay. That's it for that one for now. Let's see if anyone else pops up. Did that one already. Okay, this one is. These are striped on one side, green and brown, and like a light turquoise, and then the solid light turquoise on the other. This is also um, like watercolor paper, has that texture. That's what they look like. And I have one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, that's good to know. <laughs> There's four of those available. Yeah. Well, I'm almost done with these. I have, well, after I'm done with these, we'll do, we'll do those. That's okay. I'm going later tonight. It's the last night. And these are blue, like a light, light blue, turquoise blue. Okay, Kay Borland would like one. Thank you, Kay. You have an E on your name, Angie. The other Angie doesn't. That's how you can tell which one people are talking to mostly, most times. <laughs> All right, these are green with like um, birdcage images on the other side. 
screen with light green script. And then with bird cages on the other side. And there are one, two, three, four of those. I know it's not showing it, but that's what they are. I promise. They're green with script and cream with like uh, bird cages and stuff on the back. Okay, Mitzi will take one. Thanks, Mitz. And Kay will take one. Thank you, ladies. All right, this next one is also like watercolor paper. It's rust, rust on the back, and then the front are little line, line flowers that are rust and blue on a mottled background. And there are four of those. Next set are, these are light blue with brown stripes. And then the other side are little woodland, like a log and a flower. And this, this like brown, um, brown flowers, brown and tan. <clears throat> and then like a light green and brown stripe. And there are four of those available. Jude is having trout and venison for the family. Having Buddha bowls for the girls, salad, and roasties. Hmm? Okay, Hooligan Mama will like one of those. Thank you, Josie. These are turquoise. They kind of look like like ledger, like the lines on one side, and on the other side is pink, and a really light turquoise and a darker turquoise. So that's those, and there are four of those. And you get 10 for 50 cents. Okay, Angie Bassett will take one of those. Thank you, Angie. And Rebecca Rose will take one. Oh, it's scrapbooking paper. Rebecca Wills. And let's see. Thank you. Okay, there's one of those left. This is the rust one. I already did that one. Okay, this is the last one. There are four of these. This is what it looks like. It's got like ferns and flowers and berries on one side. And the other side is cream with like a damask, like a two-tone damask. And the background on these is like a blue with script. And of course, they're all different. You're welcome, Karen. OK, 
Okay, Mousy will take one. Kay will take two. And Josie will take the last one. I can put those in one of those. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Hooligan Mommy. Yes, sorry about that. Any one of them doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, boiling for two. And mousy depth for one. Okay? Yeah. All right. That's the end of those. Whoa. That's a lot. <laughs> oh, I have more. I lied. I have more. I didn't see that I had another pile, you guys. <laughs> okay, so that's these. If anyone wants any more. These are brown. It's like the checker, like the... Oh, gosh. Like a screen. It almost kind of looks like a screen. On one side, and then it's the chevron on the other. Let's just do A, B, and C. Can we handle that? Yeah. Okay. Let's be done with these. Uh, where's my A? Right there. A. Okay, B is... These have, like, the scenes on the back with the script. Um, it's, like, paper and writing. And then the other side is the two-tone damask ombre with the script writing. Okay, that's B. And C is polka dots with script. And the other side are, like, plants. And birds and stuff like that. Okay, that's C. Oh boy. All right. Fifty. That's me and the letter. Angie leaving. Okay, Mousy will take a B. Thank you, Mousy. K will take a B. Thank you, K. You good on those? Uh, I have I have a little bit more. Okay, um, Josie will take her hooligan. Mama will take a B. Thank you. This is A. Um, these are um, how can make horse seahorses on one side with like a orangish red, and then the other side is all different birds and greenery and fruit and flowers and stuff like that. So that's A. Why? Oh, okay. Oh, your poor mom. Don't let her get too hopped up, Angie. That's not healthy. All right. And B is... This is B. 
has pink on one side with like the, the mesh look, pink and brown, and then the other side has like script and birds and fleur de lis and stuff like that. And that is B. And those are the last two. Because I already did this one. Okay. I'm just going to type go. Just <laughs> type in go. Hey, Suze. How are you? Nice to see you. How's your Thursday treating you? Jude will take two of B. Thank you, Jude. Angie will take one of each. Yes. Thank you, Angie. We made it through those, you guys. We did it. No, Angie, you're not being rude at all. No worries. You're fine. If I thought you were being rude, I would tell you. You're fine. You are 100%. You're poor. Okay. I'm glad you're here for support. You come give me a thumbs up and hang out. anything you can't live without you know we can work work out something okay next I have I thought you guys might lift these for the boxes anyone that's doing a sewing journal I thought you would like them for the boxes They go with a certain uh, machine. They go with the 401 and 403 machines. It's called a fashion disc. This one does a scallop. Um, this one doesn't, oh, it's in wrong. It's in the box wrong. Get in there. This one does, it's called the Walls of Troy. Uh, this one does the Tagalog, or no, Fagoting, this one is Curly Q, and this one is the Comb, but I thought you would like them for the boxes, they slide out, it's like a cool match box, Aren't those the coolest, I thought they were really neat. So we have one, two, three, four, five available. They're going to be $2 a piece. Sears attachment. Sears boxes. Let's see, sewing machine. Two dollars each boxes. Two dollars. You zoning out over there? Yeah. It's all right. Let me measure them for you really quick. They are two and a quarter square. I think they're really cool. A mini sewing journal. Yes, and they're green and pink, and they have the singer with the little lady at the sewing machine. I think it's a lady. Yeah. So they're fabulous. Very cool. Then you get the little thing in there. Okay, so K would like two. Thank you, K. When it says fashion dies on one end, and that made in the USA. See that anymore? All right.
Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. There, B. Jude. Mousy. And that's it, but I do have this big box. This is the Slantomatic 503 Special. With this neat book that goes with it, the green and the pink. Here's your cover. Look at the background with all the different stitches and stuff on it. There's the edge with your thumb. And there's the other edge. And this is um, like a mint green, it's not a white. And then here's your book. It looks like it's had a little water damage, the book does. And then it has all these attachments in it. If somebody wants just the box without all this heavy stuff in it, I can do that and the pins spilled. Eek. Okay, so there's that. If someone would like that for $5, they can have it. Okay, attachment. And, oh, that's cool, Jude. Go. You have that machine. Wow. What's just the box? Yeah, Deb wants it, but she just wants the box. Okay, Deb, you got it. Just the box. No problem. We'll do that later. Five dollars. Yeah. Yeah. You can get a rubber band or I have one right here. We just gotta take this stuff out of it before we ship it to her. Oh, No, she just wants the box. And um Kay is being very nice and she's saying she will take one. Jude, want, don't dump it out because the pin spilled. Don't do it now. Don't do it now. Make a note that Jude, Jude wants what's in the box. Deb wants it. Oh. Deb, Deb wants the box. Okay. Jude wants the guts. Okay. Is that it? Is that it? Uh, yeah, that's it for that. But I have one more thing for you. Okay. Okay, you know how you did the little boxes earlier and Kay got two? Please? Yep, Kay would like to just have one. And was Mousy Deb, did Mousy Deb get one? Yes, she got one. Okay, so after that is Patricia Cook. If you want to give her one of those. I'm holding. And then I found another one of these in the bag over here. Yeah, it will, Deb. Absolutely. So, Patricia Cook will get one. Patricia Cook, I mm -hmm. And Rebecca Wills. So, one for Kay, one for Patricia Cook, one for Rebecca Wills. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. I found one for you, Rebecca. It's all right, just tell me what you have and I'll tell you if it's right. Okay, got one. Patricia Cook got one. Rebecca Wills got one. Okay. All right. Thanks, ladies. Next, I have this sewing box. It's a vintage tin sewing box. The lid was scratched, so I covered it with this um, paper that was gifted to me by a very nice person that wishes to be remain unnamed. 
I took fabric measuring tape and put it around the edge and then I covered the two handles in fabric measuring tape. I took some of the paper and I went around the edge, top and bottom with the paper. And then you open it up and it's chock full. What's up? Oh, you're just looking? This is a, this is a, um, you wear this on your, it's, it's magnetized and you put it on your shirt or your sleeve or whatever. This is half of the magnet. This goes like in your sleeve or your shirt. And then this is the other half of the magnet. Then you put your pins on it while you're sewing. The original price on that alone was $13. You get that, brick rack, buttons in a, in a vintage Wegmans veggies bag. <laughs> yeah. You get pipe cleaners, some um, a cat to make a blue gingham cat, an old paper bag, a little sachet, some thread. These are actual bookmarks that are pens. So some pens, a bunch of little thread samples, a whole bag of those. Um, hook and eyes, bag of buttons, pair of antique sewing scissors. They are embossed with like a, uh, not Art Deco, Art Nouveau design. You get this strip of crochet someone made. Aaron, okay, Angie. Another one of the little sachets with the hearts. Some, I like the packaging better than the actual what's in it. <laughs> that fold over braid. This is um, how to sew with a curved needle. A, um, this is a little balsam pillow with some stick pins that I made. I just thought they were really cute. I thought that would be a pretty decoration. You get seven of those. Another sachet. <coughs> Old earring. That was in there. So I just left it in there. Um, some Bucilla yarn. <coughs> a fabric measuring tape. I put this in because of this, not because of what was on it. I like that vintage end piece there. Some more of that. Some green ribbon. A thimble. This was in here, so I left it in here. It's a pair of shoelaces. <laughs> Some snaps. Invisible zipper foots. I think these would be really cute on a vintage journal um, in the... Uh, or in a sewing journal in, in a tassel. This is gorgeous. This is old. All these little, and it's long. These little stars stitched together. It's quite long. It is a fight on my head. So that's, that's at least a yard long of that. Some thread. Um, this is, uh, it's that wire. Um, I can't think of it. It's baby elastic, hem facing, um, seam binding, hem tape, and purple. So you get all of that. I have a spike going on. <laughs> guys are funny. Mm, there's the pillow, the balsam pillow with the... Mm, put all that back in there. Of course, you have the nice little sachets, make it smell good. 
I'll get it all back in. It's not going to fit right now. I'm going to have to put it in real pretty. <laughs> get it to all fit. Okay, I'm going to auction it off. Tons and tons of stuff in there. Well worth whatever. There's the lid that I made, that I covered. And thank you. Uh, we can start this off. We'll do. I'm going to do a two-minute auction, and we'll start it at 10. Okay. Nope. Auction. Ten dollars start. And this is going to be a timed one, so I'm not going to do last call or anything like that. I'm going to do. I'm going to add. Yeah, I'm going to add 30 seconds. It's going to be two and a half minutes because of the lag. Okay. Okay, and there we go. Jen started it off. Started us off at ten. Thank you, Jen. Cat is in at fifteen. Thank you, Cat. Jude is. Jude has it at twenty-five. Thanks, Jude. Jen came back at, excuse me, 39. Thank you, Jen. I don't know if you meant 39 or 30. But Jude has it at 40. Okay, what do we got on the timer? I got a minute and 37 on the timer. Karen has it at 42. I will type in when it's up when it's 30 seconds. I'll do one minute. Yeah, but it, the typing is immediate. Okay. Jude has it at 43. Karen came back at 45. 46 to Jude. Okay, there's one minute. Mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Thirty seconds. Excuse me. <clears throat> Karen has it at forty seven. Jude came in at, oh, let me refresh. Karen came in just after the go with 50. So that is sold to Jude. Congrats, Jude. How much? 48, I think. I just need to do something really quickly. One second. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Put it right in this basket so that nothing falls out and gets lost. No, I will repack it all pretty. So that, went to Jude. that goes to Jude for 
for forty-eight dollars. Thank you, ladies. I'm glad you like that. I I put some time and effort. <laughs> I actually, put some time and effort into that thing. Um. How about some doilies? This is a hand tatted doily that I um my coffee died. It's been washed. Is this a bundle? Yeah. Piece of this cream colored lace. A piece of white. This is very, this feels like cotton to me, this lace. I washed it. Feels like cotton. There's at least a fat quarter of that. Uh, let's see. And here's this, these pineapples. And here's another, this is cotton, cotton pineapples. And this was made by Emily C. Buteau, Loving Stitches. And it is, those are angels. Here, let me put, put my hand underneath so you can see. Can you see the angels? Yeah, you can see that. Okay, so you get one, two, Three, four, five, six pieces for four dollars. Doily and a lace lot. And that goes to Rebecca Wills. Thank you, Rebecca. All right, the next one is a red cotton doily, a green, a little bit larger cotton doily. If you wanted to use them as decor, you could put them right one right on top of the other. An off-white knitted, not crocheted. Yep, this is knit doily. And two of these placemats, and I think they're souvenirs. Somebody bought these in Ireland. They've got the <sighs> harp and the th they're three-leaf clovers, but there's that one. And this one. And they're in great condition. And you get two of those. And also you get this hand, I don't know if it's crochet, I think it's tatted, it was in with the tatting. Little pink, really soft, so cute. Pink little tatted heart, I love that. So you get all of that, thanks Jude, for $4. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces, four bucks. And that is sold to Donna Leday. And hello, Donna.
This is another piece. I think it was a, a something someone brought home from Ireland. It's got the three leaf clovers with the cut work. And it also has the cut work on the corners. And that is like a bread, like a bread dish, whatever liner. Okay, there's that. Then you get this crocheted cotton. I don't see any stains or anything on this one. There's that, you get that. And then you get another doily, a little bit smaller. They go together. This this goes with this, I think. They have the same edge like. And you get a small face scarf. This has a little bit of discoloration in the middle. Here's your edges. And this is off white. And it's got the flowers on the end. And then the big bouquet in the middle and the squares all around the edge. And that is, that's about a yard long. Okay. So you get all four of those pieces for $4. Four dollars. Yes, I will work with you. I sure will. That's right, Suze. That is sold to Rebecca Wills. Thank you, Rebecca. All right, and the last thing I have for $4, you get this. You could tell that... Um, <laughs> it's funny when you when people crochet they run out of yarn and they go get more and it's the same exact dye lot and for years and years and years it looks like it's the same color and then as time goes by the colors kind of change and then you can tell the different like dye lots so this is yeah you could tell they kind of tried to make it look a little bit artistic they made the middle of this all this that same. <laughs> so this is about, here's all your ruffled edging. This is about three feet square. One side is the darker ecru and then the other side is the cream. Right there, you can tell the difference, and then you can see where they stitched around the edges with the different color. It's funny. Okay, so that's four dollars. If someone would like that, and go. Okay, that is sold to Suze. Congrats, Suze. And thank you. Okay. Next, I have some unopened Christmas stamps. They are an angel. These are from the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. I'm trying to see if it says, make an impression worthy of a museum, decorate Christmas cards, invitations, gift wrap and ornaments with rubber stamps adapted from works of art in the collections of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Included are 23 rubber stamps, a washable blank black ink pad, and an illustrated insert describing the museum source for each image. The original price on that was $12.95. Someone can have it today. All 20, 
53 rubber stamps. There's some of the examples on the front of what you're going to get for $3. Rubber stamps, three dollars. Oops, dollars. Okay, let me brush. And that is sold to Sue's. Thanks, Sue's. Let's do another giveaway. This is, uh, I think, I'm not sure if it's the exact same one that I sold yesterday, but I, or not sold, gave away yesterday. But I know it's in the same um, kit or whatever. This is Master Detective. I got it in a D stash. So let's do a giveaway. Let's see, give away. Pick a number one through fifty. What? Oh, I thought you were waving at me over there. Don't let you go crazy. <laughs> I'm just doing a giveaway, just because I can. All right, we have Sue's. We have 16, 33, 42, 25, 13, 27, 18. Uh, Josie, you're too high. It's 1 through 50. <laughs> Jude is picking the number 1. There, Josie, that's better. 24. <laughs> 42, 43, and 44. Dial those in. Good. Rebecca. Nice. Anyone else? Anyone else want some graphic 45? Josie's smiling. <laughs> All right, let me get ready with the stop. And give it about 10 seconds. Good thing I waited. Tara just came in. Okay, and. There is the stop. Let me get Siri. Hey, Siri. Can you please pick a random number, 1 through 50? A random number between 1 and 50 is 28. Thank you, Siri. Okay, 28 is the number. number. Okay, let's see. What do we have? Laura Kai was over by one. Angie Brown picked 27. All right. Angie. Oops. Angie Brown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Tennessee. Oops. That was my hair tie. <clears throat> Angie, congratulations to me. <laughs> uh, righty. Congrats. I'm just putting my hair. There you go, Chris. Put Miss Angie's name on there. Okay. All righty. Next, I have some of these. These are... I know you're probably sick of hearing me say the word, but they really are. They're vintage. Okay. 
Christmas doilies in two different sizes. They are made by Crowndale. I love that little sticker in the corner. Definitely be using, I would definitely use that on something. There's your back. It says, it says there's 10 in there. Doilies? Yep, 10 doilies. Christmas doilies, they have trees, poinsettias, candles, bells, ornaments, holly, a star, all kinds of Christmas stuff. And those are going to be five dollars. Doilies, five dollars. I learned my lesson on the last set of doilies. I let go for a buck. <laughs> Everybody said, oh my god, I can't believe you just sold those for a dollar. <laughs> So you get 10 vintage doilies for $5. That's 50 cents a doily. Plus the sticker in the corner, which is cool. Okay. And those are sold to Patsy. Thank you, Patsy. Okay, this is called the Christmas Book. And it's red and green. It is used to be at the, the school I went to, Holy Ghost Academy. It's from 1952. Um, to the memory of a cherished friend, George Von Trapp from 1880 to 1947. So it's got Christmas book, yep. It's got all everything about Christmas, all the facts of where things originated. Familiar hymns and carols, uh, ancient hymns and carols, all sorts of where someone put, especially for you in here. So if someone would like that, they can have that for a dollar. Christmas book, one dollar. There's the back, the red and green on the back. Here's your edges. I guess I should measure it. It's five by eight and a quarter. Let's see. That is sold to Patsy. Thanks, Patsy. For anyone that hasn't seen them, I have these mini file folders. They're ten for a dollar. You can get as many sets as you want. They measure nine and a half by six. You have the rounded edge on this side, the rounded edge on that side. They open on the right. They are folded over and sealed on the bottom. You could open them if you wanted. They are 10 for a dollar. Just let me know how many sets you want. One set is a set of 10. You can get as many as you want. I have quantity on these. There's no problem. Me file holders. One dollar set. Welcome back, Keisha. Okay, we have Jen for five. Yep. Lisa Jamison, two. Kate Borland, two. Sue's, one. Lori B, three. Yes. Uh, how many for Lori? Three. Okay. If anyone else comes in, I will let you know. Oh, Suze wants two. Yeah. Pat Smith for two. All right. I'll put my eye on it. 
Let's see if anyone else. Okay, next I have this book. It's called The Hoosier School. It has a boy on the front with his big with his carpet bag, the steam or a paddle boat in the background. So he must be getting off a river somewhere. This is from it's a book. This is from 1923. The the oh Lori B would like to add three more, please. It's starting to separate. The pages are um, like thicker. And I think they're foldable, but I don't know if I would do that or not. The Hoosier School. There it is. Let me measure it for you. That is five inches by seven and three quarters. It's got a nice wide spine on it. One and 10 sixteenths. There's that. It's red around the edge. This is actually an applied picture. You can see on the corner, which is kind of cool. So we're going to do a Hoosier book. Aaron. Oh, Aaron, I just want to know, did you blow out yet? I did not. I haven't blown out yet. I'm good. I'm still going strong. Day three, my tires are still, I haven't had to put a patch on yet. So we'll do $2 on that book. Yeah, it's English. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's about, it's got a guy in here named Gray. There's that. Okay. And there's the back. You can tell that his bag is heavy the way he's carrying it, like on his hip. And like I said, it's separating from the spine. Be very easy to turn this into a journal. But these pages would be really cool to use for ephemera, for sure. And you could even read it for two bucks. What the heck? All right, no interest. Oh, Hooligan Mama will take that. Thank you so much. And that is sold. I hope you like it, Josie. Hey, I had this book yesterday. I was asking. I know, I know. I don't want to blow out though. I think I was asking seven for this, Chris. This is Rob and his friends. I think so. It's a sweet little book. Little corner of the picture is missing. It is six and six sixteenths by four and a quarter. There's your spine. There's your back with the faux green wood grain, which I think is so cool. And there's your inside with your story. Okay. And I was asking seven for this yesterday. I will sell it for half off, three fifty today. Book three fifty, half price. And it's old. It's from, oh, I should have written it down when the guy told me what year it was. Mm, yeah, I don't know. But it's old. 1920s, I would say. Maybe earlier. I did. I measured it already. Yep. Thanks, Keisha. It's a cute little book, isn't it? That is sold to Mousy Deb. Thanks, Deb. 
This is another book I was asking $7 for yesterday. It will be $3.50 today. It is... I don't think I could find a date in this one either. But it's definitely old. I was asking the guy about books from the 1800s. I don't know if this is or not, though. And there's the back. It's a gentleman's letter writer. All different kinds of ways you can write letters. Okay, so that's going to be half off also. That's going to be 350 um, Book, 350 All right, that one is sold to Sue's. Thank you, Sue's. This is a book with a pretty cool looking Native American fellow on the front. It's green and black. It's called Princess of the Woods. It measures seven and a half by four and three quarters. The spine is half an inch. It's from 1929, Christmas 1929, to Mary from Thelma. <laughs> this paper is very aged and it's still bendable, but it's a little crispy, a little bit. It's not breaking in my hands or anything, which is good. So if someone would like that, that is going to be $2. Did I say two? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it's greener than it looks on the screen. If anyone wants to make a Native American journal, it's perfect. Or anyone that just likes Native American stuff. All right, that is sold to Sue's. Thank you, Sue's. Right. Here's another Native American um, book. <laughs> uh, it's called Little Smoke. That's in gold. It's by William Stoddard. Here's the spine. The spine measures one and three quarters. And the book itself is five and two sixteenths by seven and three quarters. I think I said that already. It's got a little bit of a, it's almost like a dent right there. I don't know if it was stored with something that sat on top of it. Right there. Um... It says, oh, district number two, Santa Clara, 1912. This book is from 1912. It's got, let me see. The paper is in great shape. It's that thicker paper. Um, there's only little images in here like arrowheads and stuff like that. So this book is going to be $2. This little smoke bent it. It did. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> and that's like a chief on the front. You guys can see that. Oh, jeez. Thought I hit go. Still sitting there. Okay. 
Okay, that is sold to Jude. Thank you, Jude. Okay. I have Miss Minerva and William Greenhill. <laughs> oh, that cover's funny. There's the back. There's his spine. He's got a pie in his hand. And his other hand is behind his back. And then it looks like his grandma is doing the dishes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. So that measured measures five by seven and six sixteenths. And it is one and a half inches thick. Here's your inside. It was from the Santa Clara Union Free School. Do not misuse. Don't misuse this book. <laughs> the um, spine's coming right off. It is, let me see. Is there a date in here? There's a picture. I just want to ride by Sam Lamb. <laughs> 1909. It's got cute, cute illustrations in it. Squirting someone with the hose. Oh, he's a little devil. Oh boy. He's churning the butter. She's yanking him off of there. He must not be doing it right. So anyway, that will also be $2. And that goes to Sue's. Thank you, Sue's. I have a vintage set of plastic pickup sticks from Whitman. I don't know how many there are supposed to be in there, so I don't know if it's complete or not. There it is. It's got the tin cap. That looks very 1970s to me, that, um, that font. I do not see a year on there. If someone would like that for $1.50, they can have it. Pick up sticks, one fifty. Anyone you know have a vintage toy collection that they would be delighted to add this to? We're good on that? Okay. This is a tin of cookie cutters. Get the apple, the ghost, and the pumpkin. Comes in this tin. The tin's got a little bit of a dent in the corner. If someone would like that, they can have it for two dollars. Oh wait, pick up sticks. Lisa Jameson. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, and those are sold. Okay, tin. Uh, we'll go a dollar fifty on that. Yeah. The apple is red, the pumpkin is orange, and the ghost is white. 
And that is sold to Jen. Thank you, Jen. Trying to find a year in this one. Mm, MCMX LIV 1944. So this book is from 1944. It's called Ken in Alaska. It measures five and a quarter by seven and three quarters. The spine is one half of an inch wide has a green and black cover. Here's what the inside looks like. It's got those pulpy pages. They're in, they're still, uh, it's still bend them, do stuff with them. They're nice, yeah, they're nice and um, browned around the edges. It's from the book Fellowship International. If someone wants that for a dollar, they can have it. Book, one dollar. Oops. Okay. Go. <laughs> Angie. <laughs> it does. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe that's what it was when I picked it up. Yeah, you could you just slice it and it'd come right out. Mm -hmm. Okay, no takers on that one. All right, this is um, another green book. It has the embossed leather. That's why I picked it up. I thought someone would like that. It's got the black spine. It's called Ken on the Navajo Trail. And it is from 1948. All right, Pat Smith likes that other book. Thank you, Pat. There you go. Great cover. Yes, it is a great cover for a dollar. This has got a nice thick cover. This is also from Book Fellowship International, Syracuse, New York. Ken on the Navajo Trail. This one measures. Oh, yes, 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 I get you. Five and a quarter by seven and three quarters. And this one will also be a dollar. But like I said, it's got, it's a nice, like, uh, pine green color. And it's, it's very uh, embossed, like leather. You can't see that on the screen. Okay, one dollar. <laughs> Poor Ken. Right, Keisha. Okay, that is sold to Suze. Thank you, Suze. Oh yeah, this kitty cat stationery. Got one, two, three, four, five, six of those left. And inside you get, these are the sweetest little things. I can find. Oh, I didn't mean poor Ken, like, <laughs> poor Ken, like, get off the Navajo Trail, Ken, not your husband, Ken. You leaving, Kim? Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate it. Okay, so here's the envelope. His little tail curls over to the back, as you can see. And he's just kind of looking at that little bird there. And then you get one, two, 
three pieces of stationery, one of which has the kitty cat picture on it. So I think I was originally asking a dollar a set. These will be 50 cents today. Get them out the door. And like I said, there's one, two, three, four, five, six available. Kitty. Stationery. 50 cents. All right, Rebecca will take one. Thank you, Rebecca. Rebecca Wills. And Suze will take two. Mousy will take, oh, Angie Bassett one. Okay. Mousy Dub two. And those are sold. No, it's no. If somebody needs, like, if you need, if you need two, then yeah, get two because some they might need two. So it's fair. It's fine. People are good. People understand. I don't think anyone's gonna get upset over a piece of kitty cat stationery. I hope so. I hope not, at least. That would just be silly. All right, next I have this piece of brand new. This is, um, oh, Siri. <laughs> it's, it's felt. And I don't know if you can see the pattern on here, but it's got like a deep burgundy background and then it has circles and blues and greens and almost like a copper. There is at least one yard, probably more like two yards. Someone could make something very lovely out of this. It's missing, yes, right. Somebody cut, where's that one spot? Somebody cut, I don't know if they were used, taking a sample <laughs> or what. Just a little bit out of this, on um, this corner right here. But that's it, the rest of it is not used or anything. So there's that. My hair likes to stick to it though. <laughs> yeah, I can make a smoky jacket. I don't know, Rebecca. We're going to go until the yarn can't go anymore, I think. We're just going to go. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a ledger next. So if anyone's looking for that, that's what's coming up next. Okay, so you're going to get the two yards of this brand new, never used, two bucks. Just to send it on its merry way and give it to someone that will use it and love it. And that is sold to Suze. Thanks, Suze. Next, I have a Charlie Brown book. It's called Slide Charlie Brown Slide. I love how they're all yelling at him on the cover. Oh, boy. Mm. This is from 1962. Got all the comics in there. You know, you know what it, it's got a little rip in the back. Right there in the corner. There's your back cover. It measures. Let's see, seven by four and a half. That's going to be two bucks. Book, two dollars. Yes. Hmm? Oh, yeah, that's right. I am going to do a ledger next. I lied. 
I forgot. In that quick amount of time, I was... <laughs> Didn't take me long. All right, and that goes to Cat. Thank you, Cat. I was hoping you were listening. You know, take, take. I have to clean my screen. Okay, this next book. Oh, I caught myself. Losing it? I've lost it. It's gone. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oof. Okay, this next one is a honker. Oh, cute, Keisha. Okay. This is a railroad way built ledger from 1935 to 1937 from the New York Central Railroad. The cover is a little bit loose. Can I turn it? Oh, I can. I can turn the page. Cool. I am a lay. Start here. 12. My. Okay, so it's 16 by 10 and a half, and it is one and three quarter inches. Oops, I did not want to do that. Just one second, I gotta get my chat back. You don't want to do that either. You go away. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oof. I gotta put my iPad on my lap because this book is so big I don't have any room on the table. And this shows you how grunged up this paper is. Look at the difference in color. Ooh -wee. Mm. There's the first page, which is also really grunged up. And then this is from, I told you, let's see, what year does it say? 1935 to 1937. United States Railroad Administration, Director General of Railroad, New York Central Railroad. Cash, settlements, adjustments, other accounts, unpaid bills. And then it just goes through with the names. All the names are over here. They're written in very, very nice handwriting. Very neat. Pretty handwriting. And people used to have pretty handwriting. You know, I don't. My camera moved. Sorry about that. It's not going to stay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, you can unplug that. Thanks. Didn't I turn it off? Oh, I thought I turned it off. And a lot of it is blank. There are 249 pages in this. So that's a 125 pages. So there are 60, 62 um, folios, 62 folios. 100, how many pages did I say? Two, 249. And most of it is unused. Which is pretty cool. And they are sewn in, so you just snip the threads. They'll come right out if you wish to do that. So from page 10 on, it is unused. And the pages are huge. So let's, oh, hey, Laura. I had my iPad on my lap so I couldn't see. <laughs> hello, hello. So let's do an auction. Ledger. Auction. Started at 45. 45. 
It is 1935 to 1937. And it's loose. It's loose. It's hanging on by the, um, the signature straps. You can kind of see them there. The deals are going to be huge. All right, Laura. No, oh, I didn't show you the back. The back is like a gray. There's your spine. Kitty started, or kitty. <laughs> Jen started it at 45. Karen came back at 50. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Karen. Jude came in at 52. Chris is cooking. Elisa's here. Elisa came in at 75. Hello, Miss Elisa. Jude is out. Karen came back at 77. Okay, you can call me either one. <laughs> I can call you Kitty. <laughs> uh, if I say Kitty, I think of Miss Kitty at Gunsmoke. All right, let me put in last call. Oh, no, oh, Elisa's in at 80. I'll give it a minute and then I'll take the last call. See if Karen wants to advance. Or anyone else. Okay, I'm going to put in last call. Let's see if there's any advance on 80. Karen, let me know if you're out. Karen's in that 81. Let's see if Elisa wants to advance on 81. Oh, that smells so good, Chris. What? That pasta. Oh, turkey. No, I don't want that. Elisa has it at 81.50. Thank you, Elisa. Sorry, I just kicked the camera. I apologize. Let's <laughs> slide this forward. Karen came back at 82. I need advance on 82. Lots of messages here. Let me see what's going on. Something very exciting. All right, Karen is out. Let me put in last call. Do, 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 last call. Be sure, we'll let it go for about 10 seconds. And then we'll put in the stop. And that is a stop. And that is sold to Miss Elisa. Thank you, Elisa. That is sold to Elisa for $83. Thank you, darling. Thank you, ladies. Good bidding. Good job. Ready, Chris? Here it comes. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So next, I have. Ooh, ooh, sliding around, slipping and sliding. Okay. Turn this. I have this. It's got the uh, the faux leather with the. The embossing on it to make it look like leather. Original deposits haven't been touched. Herbert, bring me the checkbook. <laughs> that is funny. Uh, 
Did you guys see that? Original deposits haven't been touched. Herbert, bring me the checkbook. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Um, this is from 19 something. There are no checks missing in here. You have them all along with the little note that goes with each check. There are, goes from 391 to, let's see what's the last check number. Oh wait, they're not numbered. Oh, they didn't number the checks. Well, this is from Malone. Malone, New York. This is where Almanzo Wilder grew up. Darn. Well, I'm not counting them. Looks like there's about 50 checks there, I would say. So if any of you are a fan of Farmer Boy, if you're doing a Laura Ingalls Little House on the Prairie journal, these would be perfect for that. So let me measure. It is seven inches. Yeah, it's a checkbook. Mm -hmm. Seven inches by 14 sixteenths. So that would be what? Seven eighths. Seven eighths. Can you use them at a store now? Mm, I wouldn't try it. I don't think it would work. And let's see if anyone would like that for, how about eight bucks? That is a steal of a deal. Check, book, eight dollars. I have Chris over here telling me to charge a quarter for everything. So that's why you guys are getting everything cheap. Thank Chris. ton of these under this sucker. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, here they come. They're rolling in now. Okay, right, that's sold to Rebecca Wills. I could have sold that five times. <laughs> oh, this goes, this little pouch goes with it. Or wait, no it doesn't. I thought it went in the pouch. It does not. These are all, this is all stuff from People's National Bank of the Loan. So here's a little change bag. It's leather. It's got a drawstring. That is really cute. It's soft. Really soft. Uh, that's also from Malone. Mm, let's see. How about $250? Bank bag. Huh? Bank bag. Bank bag, yeah. $250. Okay. That sold to Jude. Thank you, Jude. You get it? Yeah. All right. This is also from the People's National Bank in Malone, New York. It's from October 11th, 1909. It's a little diary. Yeah, I would say so. 1909, that beginning of the year. This is this was all in the same like place. I bought these all in the same place. And here's another one. So the black one will be A. This is the same thing. John W. Rowley. You could probably um, research him if you wanted to know who he is. It's a little diary. This one's from 19. This one's from way later, though. Oh, it's got a census of cities in here. That'd be interesting to compare them to now. This one's from 1925. So this one's a little bit newer. So how about we do... Um, Let's do four each. Four dollars each. They're diaries, unused diaries. Anybody want some? Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody wants A. 
Okay, so Karen is going to get A. It goes in this little ziplock. And Pat Smith will take B. It goes in that little ziplock. Next, I have two new record books. It's just the striped paper, but the covers are awesome. They're dark green, and they have the faux leather edges. Um, they are modern. They're not old at all. And those are going to be $5 each. This one has a little bit of a, looks like slick, I don't know, something right there in the corner. Okay, so we can do A and B. You are not there, Aaron. Where are you not? <laughs> Where are you? Oh, you're asking me. Hold on. Let me see. Uh, no. No, you. Oh, yes, you are. I missed you. I'm sorry. Donna gets A. Oh, not Karen. Okay, Thank sure. you, Donna. Okay, hold on. I didn't scroll up far enough. How about B? Yes. Donna Leday. Okay. Five dollars. I faked you guys out. Oh, oh, oh. Go. <laughs> Okay, what do you sell here? Record books, $5 each. Yeah. Okay. Ready? No? Okay. okay. All right, Darla. Thank you, ladies. Next one, I have another modern ledger. Uh, it's got a UPC, so it's, you know, and it was made in Korea. The pages are numbered. There are 304 pages. It's got the lines on the left. A lot of paper there. So this one measures, let's see, seven and an eighth. Yes, by a little, 12. Seven and an eighth by 12. This one's going to be 10. This one's twice the size as those. It's got twice as many papers and it's bigger. So this one's going to be 10. Hey, Kim. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Oh, Keisha, you're fine. Don't make that face. It's okay. <laughs> and I love thumbs up. I'll take them. Let's see. All right, that goes to Karen. Thank you, Karen. Seconds. Okay. So this is a brand new Borum and Peas, never been cracked open before, quality ledger. First you have your contents and your page on the first page. Every page is numbered. Comes with your mark, your ribbon to mark your place. There's Tammy. I don't see any. I don't see a Tammy. Oh, there she is. Hey, Tammy. Sorry, I missed you. I didn't see you come in. This has 512 pages. These brand new in the store are like 45 bucks. And I'm going to ask $15 for that today. 
You guys are getting a steal of a deal. I got a deal, so I'm giving you a deal. Okay. Ledger. $15. Give you a second to get your me's in. I uh, hit refresh, and that is sold to Lisa Jameson. Thank you, Lisa. Let's do a little giveaway. I'm going to give away these little bracelets. They come in this pouch. And they are... Pink, you get two, you get a pink carnelian and another pink carnelian. This one, the elastic needs to be redone on it, but it's free. And then you get these clear crystals, crystal ones. So these two are good. This one just needs a new piece of elastic. No big deal. We all have that at home. Okay, so you're going to get all three of those in the giveaway in this nice little bag. So let's do that. And how many people do we have? 35. So we will do. Oh, yeah. We'll do uh, pick a number between 1 and 50. Go. No, I didn't. Okay, Angie, that's fair. If you don't want to play, that's fine. That's up to you, honey. You but you can twice. if you want. You can twice. Well, maybe she doesn't wear bracelets. She doesn't have any nieces either. She has nephews. All little boys in her. That's fine. Okay, we'll give it a give it a little bit longer, see if anybody else wants to put their number in to win some nice bracelets. Hey Sheila. Numbers are rolling in. Oh, Laura's got to pick a new number. She must have put someone, someone else. Must, oh, yeah. Laura's got to pick again. They, oh, Rebecca. Just, there's Laura's new number. Okay. All right. I'll give it a little bit more. Chris, because I won and I am giving someone else a chance to win, Angie. Oh, that's very good. <laughs> Tennessee proper. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. I'm going to put in the stop and we will have Siri pick a number. Hey, Siri. Pick a random number between 1 and 50, please. A random number between 1 and 50 is 19. Thank you, Siri. We got Lizzie with 18. No, oh, Lizzie. Um, Lizzie. Lizzie Brewer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yay, Lizzie. Congratulations. Cute little bracelets. Just got to restring that one. 
Congrats, congrats, yay. I'm going to hold these to the side because these are alcohol ink surfaces. <laughs> and um, this is actually like really reflective and I don't want to blind you people. <laughs> you get gloss matte and foil card stocks. 25 pieces. They are by Ranger. You get 25 in there. They are for alcohol inks. Let me... Let me put these at a little bit of an angle so I don't blind you guys. Let me see. Yeah, that's okay. That's not too bad. Mm -hmm. uh, alcohol ink surfaces. They are by Ranger, Tim Holtz, Adirondack. Okay. So those are going to be $2. You're welcome, Lizzie. You give so much to everyone. You need to win every now and then, too. <laughs> That is sold to Derby. Thank you, Dare. I'll do this book and then I'll show the bingo cards if anybody wants any of those. This is called Irreverence for Wood. This is by Eric Sloan. If you ever see any books by Eric Sloan, pick them up because they have fantastic artwork in them. So in this book, he talks about um, all different kinds of trees and wood types and what they were used for and how they change over time and how the builders adapted with the wood to use it in the best way. Kind of use its idiosyncrasies in their favor. It's a, real, it's a really good book. But look at the artwork in this thing. Just fan, and it's falling apart. So you, you don't need to feel bad <laughs> if you rip it apart and use it. You can see, it goes about in all the trees, the pine trees, ash, what the difference is, stuff like that. This is, this is a really, if you know anybody that's a woodworker, this would be a great book for them. And I read it and I found it interesting and I'm not, I'm not a woodworker. You know me, I'm curious about weird stuff. So let's see, this is from 1974, and this is going to be $3 to the first me. I have to wait for the old YouTube to catch up. Oh, Keisha's leaving. Bye, Keisha. Thanks for coming by and giving everybody a giggle. <laughs> All right, and that is sold to Lizzie. Thanks, Lizzie. You're going to love that book. It's it's great. Lizzie Brewer, Lizzie Brewer correct, yes. Huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, um, I know you guys are all sick of seeing these. We'll do this quickly. These are bingo cards. They are old. They measure five and a half by seven and a quarter. They have the back with the, um, like the embossing on them. They are pretty thick chipboard. And they are $1 each. Can't hold my hoops. Uh, bingo cards, $1. Yeah, I'll show those too. Oh, he will love that book. He will love it. I loved it. <laughs> Bing Angie. Bingo, I win. <laughs> bingo cards, that's supposed to say, not bingo cards. The C and the V are right next to each other on the keyboard. So, you know. All right, Lisa Jameson with like five.
Anyone else? Kay Borland would like to. All right. If anyone else pops up, I will let you know. Still. Okay. Okay. We'll do the chip bags. Do these quickly. These are um, 1933 potato chip bags. They were used in Elizabethtown, New York, which is in the Adirondacks by where I live. Um, they were made in Memphis, Tennessee. And it's the um, it's called Freshine, it says. They measure four by nine and what? Nine and nine and three quarters. The gusset when it is open is two and three quarters. They are 50 cents each. I have quantity on these. You can buy as many as you want, pretty much. On eBay. On eBay, they sell for $2.50 a piece. Chris brought that up now. <laughs> Chatting away. Oh my God. Uh, okay. Tammy the crafting crafting disaster with like four. Mm -hmm. okay. There be with like ten more. Okay, Kay Borland. Four. Vintage Kim. Four. And uh, Jen, ten. Laura Kai, two. They are fantastic. And they're supple. You can bend them in half, fold them, whatever. You're not going to crack or break. Chris is calculating. He's writing stuff down over there. I also have bags of zippers. If anyone would like a bag of zippers, you get small, medium, and large zippers. Uh, I think they're, I think I put 10 in each bag-ish. I'm not going to take them out and count them because I'm only going to charge you a dollar. So even if there's not 10 in there, they're still getting a good table. Okay. Aaron, can I get two more bingo cards, please, said Kay. Chris will add, put two more on there for you. No problem. Yes. Zippers. And these are, these are vintage. They're old. They're old zippers. They're not new. A lot of them have the metal. Most of them have metal. Yep. Metal. Uh, zipper bags are going to be a dollar. Dollar. A bag, I have four. They're a dollar a bag. And there's a bunch in each. Okay, so I have Dare B for one, Lizzie for two. Uh huh. And Tammy, the crafting disaster for the last one. And those are sold. Thanks, ladies. You're helping me clear out. I might be able to have Thanksgiving here after all. <laughs> oh, boy. Yep, I'm just going to talk to them about the stamps. Okay, so. Y'all have probably seen these before. I'm going to bring them out again just in case someone wants some. What you're going to get is 100, at least 100 canceled stamps from 
um, wartime era in the United States. Some are earlier, none are later, but they have neat cancellations on them, like this one says, buy war savings bonds and stamps. That's the cancellation on that, which is cool. Some of them are stamped on, but the neat thing about these is, and the reason I say you're going to get at least 50 is because when we count it, counted them out, or 100, I'm sorry, 100, you're getting 100 stamps. This is counted as one stamp. This is counted as one stamp. This is counted as one stamp. And some have, you know, this is counted as one stamp. So you're going to get at least 100. And they have, like I said, they have the neat cancellations on a lot of them. Um, a lot of them are um, going to or from barracks around the United States that... What were you saying? That... Uh, my husband's throwing me off, sorry. Um, that had soldiers in them and stuff. They say fort, fort this and fort that. Some of them have those kind of cool cancellations on them, which people do collect those, those different cancellations, like the circles and stuff. Um, anyway, you get 100 stamps at least, and they are from the mid-1940s and back. And they are 250? Is that what I charged before? Yeah, but 250? Okay, two, 250. Bag. 250. Bag of 100 stamps. Brenda, don't look. <clears throat> All right, so we have Pat Smith, okay. Mousy Deb, okay. Suze, okay. Kelly Clark, okay. Dare Beef for Two, Cat, okay. Jen. Lisa Jameson for five. Okay. Hooligan Mama. Okay. And Brenda. I'll let you know if anyone else pops up. Ladies, glad you like those. Give you a great deal on those. Makes me happy. Did those sell? The, um, no, they did not. Um, you had some extra. Yeah. Do you know what they call them? No. Did you suck for you? Fabric. Fabric confetti. Fabric scrap bag. Aaron, do you have two more stamps? I sure do. There be would like two more. There be. The, I think that was like the third thing I sold today. It was really in the very today. beginning. Yeah, today. Uh -huh. We're trying to figure something out. Out, bear with us. And you're welcome, mm -hmm. Dare. No problem. Hmm? No. no. Right before that. Or right after it. 
Yes. Confetti. Yeah. Okay, so I have 11 left. Okay, so I have at least two ounces of fabric confetti. I have 11 of these available. They're 250, right? The last one. Take this out and show you. There's all different kinds of fabric in here. You're getting two ounces. You get lace, see through stuff, cotton, silky things, everything, all kinds. Blue, every color of the rainbow. $1.50. Oh, $1.50? Okay. Okay. So. Kelly Clark. Kelly Clark would like to add another stamp, please. Okay. Here's some peanuts. Cotton. Oh, everything. <laughs> I tried to add as much variety in there as I could. Okay, so. Bub. Hoodie. Bags. Dollar fifty. Go, and you're gonna get at least two ounces of fabric. Nice little pile there. Okay, so we have. You ready? Yep. Tammy, the crafting disaster. Mousy Deb and Jen. So that means I have eight left. There's eight left if anyone would like one. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Oh, Pat Smith would like one. Thank you, Pat, Tammy, Mousy, and Jen. I appreciate it. Mousy would like to add another, please. Six, six is still available. Plastic stencils. This is the purple set. Yeah, I'm going to do them one at a time. In this set, you get a pig, a sheep, a cow, a duck, or a chick. Sorry, that's a chick. <laughs> a horsey. His little other leg isn't popped out. There we go. A horsey and a bunny. This set is $2. Stencil set, $2. Yeah. Oh, you gotta wait till I'm done showing. Jen, thank you, Jen. 
I'll leave the bag open. I'm going to put her name right in there. Okay, the next one is... The next one is a car, a tractor, cute little tractor, a bus and a bicycle, <laughs> a choo -choo train, boat, and an airplane with clouds. All right, that is sold to Lizzie Brewer. Thank you, Lizzie. Oh, I sealed it. Now your fingers don't work. <laughs> okay, next one I have are, I know they're numbers. I'm not sure if they're numbers and letters, or they might be just lead. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out together. What are they? Okay. Okay. So it's it's the alphabet and the numbers zero through nine. So you got. It. A B C. You said A B C. Oh no, there's A B C. A B C. Just so you guys know, A B C D E F. G H I J K L. M O Q R. S T U V W X. Y Z. You getting a headache? No. Chris, can you pop me some popcorn? Can you pop some popcorn for Suze and Angie, please? <laughs> oh. oh, I have to put this in. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I didn't put it in. This set is sold to Suze. Thank you, Suze. This next one is so cute. So cute. All right, the next set are animals. I think they might be zoo animals. Okay, so you get the giraffe. Lion and the birdie. Look, he's looking at the bird. <laughs> the elephant spraying water. Crocodile and or alligator. Looking at the butterfly. The bow. And my favorite, the monkey. <laughs> okay, two dollars. Aren't they cute? All right, those are sold to Lizzie. Thanks, Lizzie. Oh, yeah. All right, Kat, thank you so much. Rest well, my friend. Here's hoping for a better tomorrow for you. <laughs> 
Thanks for coming. This next one is all different faces. These look like Legos to me. All right, so you have the mom with love in her eyes. Then you got like silly, crying, happy, temper tantrum, <laughs> and mad. See them with the yellow and the white. Oh, let's move this out of the way. Okay. All right, this next one are fruits. Can you see that? No, I need a dark. Here, let's use this so you guys can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So you get a pineapple with the rings, pears, and this pear sliced. Okay. Lizzie will take the emojis. Thanks, Lizzie. Bananas for your monkey. Grapes. Lemon, lime, orange, grapefruit. No, not grapefruit. And an apple. So it's the fruit and the fruit, what it looks like sliced open. Angie, don't tell me that. Those are my favorite. <laughs> okay, I'm good though, right? That's funny. All right, that's sold to Jen. Okay. We did have a little bit of a break earlier. Thanks, Jen. All right, these are vegetables. You get carrot. That'd probably look better on the white. Okay. Carrot. <laughs> All right, Laura. Uh, that looks like a leek. These must be English. Cabbage. A mushroom. <laughs> the infamous eggplant. No comment on that one. An onion and or garlic. Teddy bear wall hanging. They're so cute. It's a little boy and a little girl. Oh, they have the little hangers on the back. They're made out of plaster. Oh, those are so cute. Um, plaster bears. 
Those are so cute. And there's a little bit of a... It says 1984 Miller Studio. So these are from 1984. There's a little bit of a... Like a ding kind of where her, the paint has gone off her foot. That would be easy to fix. Just touch it up. Oh, those are so cute. Okay. Uh, plaster Bears. Set. Uh, let's do those for $4. And those are sold to Jen. Thank you, Jen. You're going to love them. They are cute. Cute, cute, cute. Where'd my rubber band go? Mm -hmm. Is there a rubber band over there for me that I can have? Something that could go around this so they stay protected in that closet. Okay. Oh, what? 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 What's in here? Oh, look what I went and did. I had a cat hiding in the box. I want the bag. If you were the person that didn't get in on the cat stationery, let me know. I have one left. Let me know on that, you guys, because I have no clue. I have a lot of first day issue stamps. You get prehistoric animal commemorative stamps with dinosaurs. There's four on there. Letter carriers. They're just stamps. Postage stamps, yeah, traditional thing. Christmas stamps. Oh, it's okay. You get the Winter Games, 1980, Lake Lake Placid, New York. You get another one of those. Uh, you get four of the Delivering Mail in Space. The uh, old timey delivering mail, Eagle and Shield. Um, the first day of issue, Flags of American Colonial Days. There are 13 colonies, so you get three, six, nine. We well, only get two. only get ten, so three of the colonies are missing at the World's Fair, and the Patriots postcard, 1970. Eight. You get all those commemorative stamps and first day of issues, and I'm going to let the whole lot go. That one Lake Placid one is probably worth about 25 Okay. All right. It's fine. Yep. Go ahead. I'm going to let the whole lot go for $5. Any doll stamps? No, I sold those a long time ago, my doll stamps. Sets all four five dollars. Oh. It was you, Jen. Okay, all right. I'll let Chris know it was you. Okay, Jen, cat, dictionary. All righty. Let's refresh on here, just to be fair, and that goes to Kelly Clark. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you. While Chris is getting the dogs, how about we take a five-minute break? Here come the dogs. It is 10.59. We'll see you at 11.05. Okay? So take a break. This is what we're going to look at next. This cottage flower photo album. 
Okay. No, 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 no. I'm taking a break. <coughs> <coughs>
All righty. You've got me, Soda. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to do this book quickly. You guys know what these look like. I don't need to flip through it too much. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> okay. I'm going, do, I'm going to do something I've never done before next, so don't leave. Okay. So this is a gorgeous book. Take it apart and... Got violets and everything, everything, everything. Cottage flowers, paintings by Jenny Phillips. So this is going to be um five dollars. Dollars. Brenda, you're too slow. I was gone for eight minutes. Karen, you can't do that here so we all can see. Huh? What? Did you sell it? Yeah. Uh, Sue's for $5. Okay, ladies. The next thing I have are whole sari. I'm going to get the whole sari. These are all silk. These are going to be 20 bucks a piece. Okay, so I'll show them all to you. Okay, so this there's this one. This one is orange, green, purple, and gold. Because okay. I know you got to see them all before you can <laughs> make your choice. I know who you are. So I'm the same way. This one is green and black and gray. I love this one. Love them all, or I wouldn't have bought them. Um, this one is. Yeah, I've never sold these before, Angie. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> Ooh, this one's super soft. This one is gold, green, and blues. This one's very, very, very silky feeling. And this one is, I'm going to show four at a time. This one is greens and um, like two shades of copper. So you can do A, B, and this is a full sorry. These are huge. Huge. <laughs> D. No, I don't want to open them up. I'll never get them folded back. Okay. No, it's fine. It's not going anywhere. These are $20 a piece. You get the whole silk sari. And these are silk. They are from India. Okay. Let me refresh. All right. Rebecca wants A and B. Thank you, Rebecca. I'm going to just fold those together and put them in that bag you can with her ticket. Okay. And, oh, she retracted. Hold on. She retracted. All right. So Suze wants D. No. <laughs> Some cripes. Everybody's retracting. I don't know. But Suze wants D. Suze hasn't retracted yet. Is everyone going to retract?
What was the price you wanted to pay? What was the what were you thinking the price was gonna be, guys? That's okay, let me know. Did I give you Sue's D? Okay, this is Sue's wants D. This one's for Sue's. Thank you, Sue's. Yeah. Do you have more? Yes. No, you didn't, Sue's. You sure didn't. You're getting yours, honey. One's for Brenda. Okay. Put these. Yes, I have all kinds of bags right here. Each one came in its own bag. There you go. There you go. Okay, so two, two available. All right, I have more. Okay, so let's move these. Bag those back up in a minute. And let's bring this one out. This one is, ooh, I like this one a lot. This one is like lipstick red. It's got a little bit of a berry tone to it with blue, like navy blue. I think that's navy blue. Yeah. Navy blue and cream. So that's A. And I'm just looking for the where the heck is the thing? There it is. Geez, sorry, you guys are probably going deaf. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. <laughs> this is B. This one is very beautiful. This one is golds and greens and that berry red again with the paisley, like the paisley trees. Really nice. Super pretty. Oh, uh, they're $20, Karen. Can you get the whole? Yep, you got the green one, Brenda. You sure did. Erin, can you see Rebecca's comment? Yeah. Rebecca didn't retract. Yes, yeah, she did. Okay, so there's B. And here is C. C is more of the gold. Gold and the this is more of a this is really a berry color. And then it has this pattern also in there. Right here. This one's also very beautiful. I don't want to unfold it too much because they are a beast to fold back up if you don't have help. Okay, so that's C. I'm losing my letters. There's C. Also, one more for the set. You want me to do three at a time? Four fit. Four fit, no problem. This one feels bigger. And here's D. Oh, because there's two in there. Okay. This is more, and this is like a um, ombre, kind of right there. And this has oranges and pinks, or oranges and like that berry color again. And where is D? There's D. There's my letter D. Okay. You're welcome, Brenda. Brendy, Brenda. <laughs> you get the whole sorry. Twenty dollars. Get the whole stink thing. It's like twelve feet of silk by six feet of silk. They're huge. Get so much from them. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, so Sue's would like C. Thank you, Sue's. That's a gorgeous one. It's really soft, too, Sue's. Okay. All right. All are good on those. I can do that. Um, this is like a burnt orange. Okay, thank you. This is like a burnt orange. And then it changes to the smaller print on the on the other end. Mert orange and gold. That'll be A. <laughs> Angie. This one's different. Oh, this is another really soft one. This one's black. This one's black and green and red. And then it changes to that and as it goes on. And then back to that. Ooh, that one's really pretty. B. And I have two more. This one's an eye cap one. This one's neat. silk Angie this one's eye cat this one is like a burnished gold that berry red again um, green and gray and cream What's the matter you all right over there your head wobbling around let's see and this is the last one This one is purple. This one's shiny. This one has a nice sheen to it. Purple, green, like eggplant purple, uh, like another burnished gold kind of color, and cream. And that'll be D. <laughs> uh, sorry. $20. <laughs> right, Angie? There's no rules. It's your sorry. You can put it, you can do whatever you want with it. If you want to make it into a tree skirt, you go right ahead. <laughs> Have at it. One for 20 or two for 35. It means you get 250 off each one. That's. Twelve and a half percent. Something like that. Anyone? No, we're good on those. Let's say um, I'll do them for 15. Okay, Rosemary wants C and D. You're still going to get them at 15, Rosemary, and so is Diana. I will price them all at 15. 
even the previous one? Yep. Okay, so they're 15 now. Hi, Deb Howard. Sorry. Dollars go. Thanks, Patsy. Thanks, Kim. Thanks, Rosemary. Thank you, Suze, Brenda. Okay, this one goes to Vintage Kim. Thank you, Vintage Kim. Vintage Kim. Okay, so let's do this one again. That one will be A. This one is beautiful. This one is B. And this one is C. And this one. I can move this one over. And this one will be D. And if you need me to, to, to describe any of the colors again, I can do that. Okay. Sorry. Fifteen dollars. This camera's walked out again. <clears throat> Sorry about the camera, guys. All right, Michelle H. will take B. Thank you, Michelle. Need bags? You got bags. The middle of this is like a brown that helps you kind of changes into a brownish in the middle. Good job, Angie. <laughs> This one reminds me of Japan for some reason. I don't know if it's because it's red in circles or what, but it reminds me of Japan. And this looks like it was hand block printed also. It's the way it's overlapped. It does not look machine printed to me. And then, oh, look at the middle. The middle is gold with black. That's like a burnished gold color in the middle. It's very pretty. As you know, they change. They're not like solid through the whole thing. And then this one, this one's blue. And then in the middle, it changes to flowers. And that is very soft. Any takers on those? <laughs> you think C would make a good tree skirt too? All right, Suze will take a uh, C. Just this one. Ooh, Suze, you got to let me know which one. I don't remember which one C was. Which one did I? Oh, let me see. Michelle took B, which was here. So this is C, and that's D. This is C. Okay. Yep. The circles, yep. 
You got it. You got the circles. Okay. And then the last one I have is this one. This one is, and then it turns to these flowers in the middle. And this one is orange, green, purple, and cream. Yet. This one. I think I unfolded this one to show to my sister. I didn't get it folded back perfectly perfect. This one is orange. Let's see if I can. Okay, so this one's orange. And like a lighter orange, and then it's got like the uh, the dyeing where they crinkle it up and put it in the dye vat, and it gives you the different tones. And that's the middle, and then you get these kind of uh, medallions in the middle. Okay, so fifteen dollars. Go. There's your ends. Your ends have like a stripe. All right, that one is sold to Patsy. Thanks, Donna. Let me fold it up a little bit better. <laughs> so Patsy. Yep. Thank you, Patsy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she could make lots of <laughs> Yeah. The purple one? Sure. The purple and green. This one with the purple? Or this one with the lipstick, like berry color with the brown in the middle? It's not really brown. It's like a like a cafe au lait kind of, I don't know how to describe it. It's a very pretty color. Okay. Thanks, Patsy. Oh, oh boy. Is that sold? Yes. Mm -hmm. Patsy. Thank you, Pat. Oh, yeah, that's really pretty. I love that print. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, Angie, that would be just beautiful. All right, I have this one that I didn't show because it just kind of doesn't have the same feel to it as the other ones. Um, 
kind of goes variegated with the different feel of the fabric. This one is brown and off-white and like black and it goes variegated. <clears throat> this looks like a batik print to me. Um, I'm going to sell that one for 10. Yeah, you could just wear it as a sari. There you go, Brenda. I mean, I think it's silk, but I don't want someone to be disappointed in it. So I'm going to sell it a little bit cheaper because it feels very different from what you would expect. So this one's only going to be 10. If that my letter A is inside the dotted one. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let me refresh. That one is sold to Patsy. Thank you, Patsy. Can you open it up? I can open it up somewhat just because it's so darn big. It's got, <clears throat> okay, it's got bigger flowers towards the middle. And then it's got this, um, this pattern right here of browns, kind of goes like this. It very much looks like batik to me, very much, which is a very time-consuming process. Yeah. Okay. I've got these two left if anyone has been thinking about it. There's this one. These are 15. And these are very soft. This is the this is this one. And then it changes to the that brown color I really can't describe. <laughs> and then there's this blue and green and gold. Very pretty. So we'll do A and B just in case. Two dollars each. Let the tubes catch up. Oh, the top. Okay. I see the top part. I see. Mm -hmm. I did pretty well on those. Only have two that didn't sell. I'll be happy with that. And who knows? Maybe somebody will message me and say they would like them. Let's see if I'm with those ones. Sold them all but two. So I'm happy with that. Does anyone want to see vintage tablecloths? I have about five of them. Vintage tablecloths. Anyone be interested in that? Didn't know what a sorry was, but do now. Cool, Angie. If you don't ever know what something is, you just Google it, honey. Okay, Donna wants to see vintage too. So, okay. <clears throat> yes, thank you, ladies. These are not measured. I just know they're huge. Uh... And I haven't really inspected them that closely, so I'm going to let them go cheap. Okay, this one has red cross stitch. This is like that really true red. It's a cool red, not a warm red. And then it's got little flowers on all the corners. It's really big. 
very light. It's got this, the rectangle that goes in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to do table cloth. I'm going to let it go for five. If anyone wants it, it's very large. Okay, that is sold to Donna Lede. Thank you, Donna. Okay. Oh, that's heavy. All right, the next one I have is red and green. Very similar to the other one. It's probably the same size. It's got this that goes in the middle, like the rectangle. rectangle. And it's got the Greek key that goes all around the edge. And there's your motif again. It's also going to be five dollars. And this red is a little bit more of a brighter red. That one that I just showed you, the stitching was a deeper red than this one. A little bit different. That is sold to Rosemary. Thank you, Rosemary. Okay. Next one I have is, I think it's dogwood. This one's a, let's see how big is this one? This one's small enough I might be able to measure it. This one's a rectangle and it's about, looks like it's about five and a half feet by or maybe like six feet, six feet by five feet. Can't tell which side is which. Okay, this is the. Okay. And it's two shades of pink and it's gray and light blue. And here's your pattern. Light blue. With the bow. And then it goes to gray. This is gray. And then here's your flowers. And they go all the way around. And there's a little stain there. Like I said, they're vintage. Um, I'm going to let them go for five. Okay. Table. Cloth. Five dollars. I can't spell. It's okay. <laughs> I have one more after this one. All right, that goes to Donna. Thank you, Donna. Donna probably has a secret for getting all those stains out. Okay, and this last one is, let me see how big this one is. This last one is the same size as the other one. It's about six feet by five feet. It has a background of blue, um, <clears throat> blue leaves. This goes all the way through the whole tablecloth. This is like a cream, and then it has the ivy. This tablecloth has a pretty cool texture to it. I don't know if you can see it or not. And this one, I don't see any stains on this one. This one's in really good shape. No stains, rips, tears that I can see. But, you know, it is 1140 at night. <laughs> oh, let Nana have it. Okay, that last tablecloth goes to Nana. Please, that's nice of you, Sheila. From Donna? Or? No, just let her, let Nana buy it. The one that down the bucket. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. Nana Sheila. I should have said that. So anyway, this one's going to be five. Okay. 
This one also goes to Sheila, Nana Sheila. Okay. Great deal. Glad you guys like these. I think they're awesome. I love vintage tablecloths. Those the dog round. Does anyone want to see the chicken die cuts? The Christmas chickens. Um, I've got maple leaves. Oh, that's so nice, Sheila. I threw a baby shower for someone and I used all vintage tablecloths. People asked me if I was a plant, uh, party planner. M mushrooms, maple leaves, um, buttons. I have one set of uh, felt pigs left. I have Christmas buttons. Chicken and ornament sets. Let me know if anything's catching your tickling your fancy. Christmas chickens. Remember, they're going to be cheaper because it's the last night and it's 1140 at night. So if you want some, let me know. I'll hook, we'll hook you up. Wallpaper trees. Uh, these are squirrels. Okay. All right, so let's blow through these real quick. You guys ready? Feel of the century coming your way. This has to be a new list. All right, Chris? You can't put it on the old ones. It's just a list now? Yeah, so these are going to be, what are they called? this is going to be chicken die cuts. Okay. This is discount night. Okay. Okay. I'm selling them for a buck. They were $2.50. They're going for a dollar. So you get five different holiday print chickens. And they are going to be a dollar. Are they all the same? Yeah. Yeah. Does anyone need me to take these out? You guys saw these, right? You get five chickens. They were two fifty. Now they are a dollar. And I have a lot, so you can get you can get more than one. All right, so we have Sue's, Lizzie, Brewer, okay. Kelly Clark. Okay, okay. Uh, Sue's wants two. two okay. Kelly Clark wants two. Okay. Uh, Nana Sheila, two. Anyone else? Did I tell you Lizzie Brewer wanted two? Uh, Lizzie was one. So okay, two. so two for Lizzie, yep. Okay. He's eight. Pat Smith will take two. One, two, three, four, five. I know. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Thanks, guys. I still have more. If you want more, if you want three, you can have three. You know what you're going to do with 15 chickens, but 
They're there if you want them. Tell your friends to get in here. After tonight, they're going back to regular price. <laughs> Okay, so these are the chicken and ornament sets. You've got blue with the gold. Country chicken. Red uh, sequins. Okay. These were $2.50. These are also a dollar. Just tell me what kind you want. There's only one of the country ones left. Okay. Chicken. Stocking. Ornament bulb button. Stocking. Button. There. Come on. Set one dollar. Oh. Probably need to poop, Angie. <laughs> Tennessee tornado. Yep. Probably got a fart. Does anyone need me to take these out? All right. Kelly's wants, Kelly wants country. Uh, Kelly. Oh, Kelly Clark. Clark. Jen, which ones would you like? She wants a specific one. Kelly Clark wants that specific one, yes. Things are a little upside down there. You want red, blue, or both, Jen? Well, it doesn't have to be that low. It can be up high. It's making its way down there. Jen. Just Jen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep it on those. Ready. Here's the mushroom. Oh, it's under your arm. Well, you said it was on your side. You're a confusing girl, Angie. Okay, so you get five mushrooms and the tops are interchangeable. There's two of these. These were two fifty. These are going to be a dollar. Mushrooms, one dollar. Those are sold to Sue's. Thank you, Sue's. Mm -hmm. One bag. Okay. Both for Sue's. There's two in there. I just put them in that bag for you. I was being nice. <laughs> here here. This is, these are vintage wallpaper trees. I cannot remember what I was asking for these, but they are also going to be a dollar. You get five of them. You're really going to get three pink and two cream or three cream and two pink. And I, I, I don't know which is which. There's three of those. Little paper trees, one dollar. Ooh, there's a wicked glare on that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, that's blinding. Sorry, people. Sorry about that. Wee. All right, Darla will take one. Thank you, Darla. You want all three, Darla? Well, sometimes she's afraid. She wants all three, but she doesn't want to seem like she's me. Just grab one. Okay. <laughs> Brenda will take one. So we got Darla, Brenda, one left. All right. 
Kelly Clark will take the last one. Thank you, ladies. Sword. Okay. These are country squirrels. I have two sets of country squirrels left. You get five squirrels. They're pretty good size. Those are going to be a dollar. And Angie, I'm sorry if you're here and I said squirrel and it drove your dog crazy. <laughs> I apologize. Right, and those are sold to Sue. Thanks, Sue. Two. Okay. And these are, what are these? These are felt leaves. I do not recall how much I charged for these earlier today. It doesn't matter because they're a dollar now. There are two of the like maple candy color. Oh, three. Three of each. There's three maple candy color and three of the red leaves. One. I hope Tina isn't watching. I gave her PTSD earlier with the leaves because <laughs> she had raked all day. Poor girl. She said the leaves were up her nose, in her eyes, in her ears. I think she might have been jumping in them. No. Oh, I need a drink. Ooh. All right, Jen will take one of each. Thank you, Jen. Suze is going to take one of each. Thank you, Suze. Two left. If anyone would like the last two, let me know. Now let's do the Christmas. Excuse me, I just had a drink of soda, so I burped a little there. Let's do the Christmas fabric buttons. Those are going to be a dollar also. You get 20. 20. Buttons, one dollar. Why take I leave them in my yard can be move mode. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You mulch them into your into your grass. Mm-hmm. Yipper. A lot of people do that, and I have a lot of these. So if you want more than one, please feel free. Okay, Kelly Clark, take one. Thank you, Kelly. That's okay. People might change. If you want more than one, you can have multiples. I have a lot. These are Christmas fabric buttons. I have a lot, you guys. If you want more than one. Huh? Yes. Uh, Kelly Clark. Uh, Sue's for two. A vintage Kim one. Gen one. Um, give Kelly another one. I left off with Jen, right? Nana Sheila too. Okay. Suze would like two. Sure, you have two. Okay. Um, Patsy for one. Let me see. So how many is that all together? Nine. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. 
I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have twelve left if anyone wants more. No, Christmas buttons. They're just Christmas themed buttons. All right, Lynn J will take two when you get your, your pen out. Yep. Okay, if anyone else wants any of those, just let me know. I know. I know. I know. Oh, Angie's back. <laughs> Different Angie. Angie of the dog, but I can't say that word around Angie. Okay, these are felt pigs. One, there's only one of these. And there are two, or there's six of them in there. Yeah. Yeah, there's only one left. I'll be making more, but I just don't have any ready for right now. And that goes to Sue's. Thank you, Sue's. Okay. All right, next I have more of a country kind of themed print buttons. Gingham floral, twelve mattress ticking. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine country buttons. Country buttons. Yep, nine available. One dollar each. Oops, I put some up there. Right, so we have Sue's for two. Uh, Nana Sheila for two. Jen for two. Mm -hmm. Kelly Clark for two. And the last one goes to Lynn J. They're sold. Thank you. Oh, I did the Christmas buns already. I have lots of those. Okay, what are these? Oh, okay. I have. Those are all sold, Patsy. I have two sets of um, Christmas fabric Christmas trees. There's five in there. They are going to be one dollar. Christmas trees. One dollar. Dollar. Aaron could type. That's so much better. <laughs> God, one dollar. Yikes, you guys. Go. Oh, me too, Angie. That's the best, isn't it? Okay, so we have Kelly Clark and Lynn J. And those are sold. There you go. <clears throat> okay, next I have these ornaments. In case you didn't see them before, I'll show you. The trees pop out, and you get the tree and the ornament. You get five of those in a set. There are only two left. Yeah, that goes in that one. 
There are only two left. What are these called? Ornaments. Ornaments. One dollar. Both sold to Miss Sue's. Thank you, Sue's. Oh, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly's crying. Don't cry, Kelly. It's okay. Those are for Sue's. <laughs> oh. Now I have Christmas squirrels. This might cheer you up, Kelly. Maybe you'll get a Christmas squirrel. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have nine Christmas squirrels available. You might be, you're gonna get one, Kelly. I have a feeling. Okay, there are squirrels. One. And there's five in there. You get five. Five of the little critters. How many total? I counted nine. Okay, so we have Darla. Okay. Kelly Clark. Okay. Jen. Okay. Patsy. Ensues. So one, two, three, four. Thank you, ladies. There are four left. If someone would like another one. Anybody wants another one, just let me know. All right, this is a little out of season, but these are still really awesome for pumpkins. Yes. You get five pumpkin die cuts. These are so cool. There's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. There's nine of these available. These were two fifty. They are now going to be one dollar. You get five. I'm telling you, this iPod takes. You gotta have so much patience to type on this thing. Five. Suze, you want another squirrel? Susan wants another squirrel. Okay, five. Pumpkins. One. Dollar. Go. Angie, I think you were gone 30 seconds. No, you're gone two minutes. Okay, so we have Kelly Clark. Oh. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, Sue's. Okay. Uh, Angie. Okay. We only have one. Lynn J. Four, right? My name for yep. 
All right, that is it for bad coat. If anyone wants more chicken buttons, let me know. Plenty of those. Still have more pumpkins too. There's only a couple squirrels left. I have a little bit of ephemera. have a Pennsylvania map from 1965. We all know what those look like. Those are awesome. Yes, an ephemera lot. Oh, you want some buttons, Darla? How many buttons do you want? Uh, Christmas. I think. I think I sold. I, those are all sold. Two. Yes, I did, Suze. Yeah. Okay, Darla wants two. You got it, Darla. We're adding you to the list. Hours and hours and hours, Suze. <laughs> hours. All right, this is the official souvenir book of the 1965 World's Fair. This is really, this, I looked through this earlier. This is pretty cool. All the pictures of all the different buildings. And this is these, a lot of these were temporary structures that they built for these World's Fairs. And then when it was all done, they took them down. Hence the word temporary, right? Mm -hmm. There's that. What? This is a book about the Pennsylvania flood in 1972. Some pretty striking, striking photos in there. This is all black and white. Take that. Old favorite songs. Compliments of Newman Brothers, Chicago. Uh, I don't know what year this is from. Flow Gently, Sweet Afton. This is, oh, uh, they sold pianos and organs. Then in the back are pictures of organs, which is the best part about this. It's all the old organs and stuff. That's pretty cool. Those are really neat. I love that. Okay, so there's that. That's really awesome. And then you get a picture of this very sweet looking lady. I don't know who she is. She's very pretty. And then last but not least, you get a Godie's Ladies Book. These alone sell for mm, $15, $20. There's your flip out or your pull out or whatever you want to call it. Okay. So that's the icing on the cake right there. I'm going to do that whole lot for 10. The needle still stands, don't it? I don't know what that means. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, yes. You're right, Brenda. Ephemera <laughs> lot. Ten dollars. Go. Yeah, a lot of the structures were temporary. Not all of them, just a lot of them. And that is sold to Dare B. Thank you. And I'm going to put your ladies' book, this one right here, I'm going to put it inside this flood book just to kind of protect it. So if you're looking for it, 
that's where it is it's in there so don't think i didn't send it okay <laughs> put it in there for you there you go okay so now i have This is a map of the of New York, and it's a place for all seasons. New York State Travel Center. This is a famous guide to New York. This is from, uh, let's see, MCMLXI. This is from 1961. All kinds of, there's the Flatiron Building, uh, Brooklyn Bridge, yes, um, an airline terminal, that's LaGuardia, LaGuardia, Lever House, Lever House, Soldier's Monument, all sorts of cool stuff in there. New York State Vacation Lands, 1969. This has fantastic pictures in it. 1969, all the clothes and the cars. Just a really, just a really fun. There's that. Then you get three New York High School 50th, I'm sorry, four, I'm sorry, five, one, this is from 1974, two, three, four, you get five of these. They are typed. And they, that is actual typing paper. And the pages all come out. That's pretty cool. Okay, so there's that. And there's the cover to the other side of this vacation lands thing here, which goes, goes like this. There we go. We figured that out, didn't we? This is an introduction to bridge. It's got some typed cards and some handwritten instructions. I like the cover on that. And then the last piece of this is the story of Mr. World. It has a type, the talking globe. And then here's the record. Um, oh, this is the sounds of the space age. This is the, um, the record that they play on the, uh, on the moon, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what it is. Or wait. From Sputnik to lunar landing. Oh, it's just a, they're talking about it. But anyway, the records are in here. Okay, so it's going to go on top. Oh, that's cool. My sister lived in Rochester for a while, long time. Ephemeral lot. This one's also going to be ten dollars. All kinds of good stuff in there. And that is sold to Jen. Thank you, Jen. Oops. All right, in the last lot, I think, Pennsylvania Dutch, 1968. This is from Hershey, Pennsylvania. Hershey Sports Arena. A lot of ads in here. Shoe fly pie. <laughs> Pasta. It's just a book full of ads. Which is nice. We like ads. We like vintage ads. Countdown to survival. Mm. It's the strangest secret he devoted to his life to find out. Okay. This is the secret to life right here. 
And then this one is the Gem Dance Folio for 1925. It's a great cover. Here's the back. And then in this side is just all music. Nice big notes, nice big sheets, colored. Home, Oh How I Miss You, Gilbert Tennant. This is Little by Little. Look at that cover. How cute. Then there's a bunch of sheet music in here, too. This is a really, look at that pretty cover. It's a little bit ate up. It's still very pretty, though. There's that one. And then if I had someone like you at home, I wouldn't want to go out. This is the name of that one. So you get all that really awesome stuff. And this one is also going to be $10. Okay, Erin, I'm going to have to go. I'm falling asleep. Bye, lady. See you tomorrow. Good night, Chris. Good night, Angie. Oh, that's Angie. Time. Yeah, Good that's night. Angie. I'm falling asleep too, Angie. I need to get up at 5. Keeping them away. I'm almost done. Mm. I know this is going to be. Yeah, because it's so big. Sorry about that. All right, that is sold to Jen. Thanks, Jen. Okay, and that is the conclusion, my peeps. I am going to give these stickers away as the last giveaway of the night. How many people are on? Mm, 25. So it says go for it, and it's go for. What? Um, we have a lot to catch up on. Just for you. Thanks a bench. Sure do miss you. Frank's for everything. These are cute. These are from 1997. There's a couple of them in there. A couple sheets. So those are cute. Okay. Pick a number, one through 50. Go. I didn't say goat. I said go. These stickers are awful cute. I don't know how many are in there? There's at least two sheets. I could see a little kid getting quite the kick out of those. And thank you so much, everyone. You really helped me do an awesome D stash. I feel very happy about everything that I have sold. And um, if I have the energy, I might come back on Sunday and do a playing card sale. All playing cards, all the time. I have a ton, lots of variety. So I think that'll be fun. And I might try to get some more pigs cut out by then. I know y'all want some pigs. Okay. So, yes, thank you so much, to everyone. You have helped me out tonnage. Yes, you're welcome, Patsy. I hope you feel like I hope you feel like you got over on me. That's how I want you to feel. I want you to feel like I just gave stuff away and you got such good deals that I'm losing my mind. That's how I want y'all to feel. Okay. 
I'm glad you guys had fun. Yay! Yay for fun! <laughs> okay, Siri. Siri. Hey, Siri. Please pick a random number between 1 and 50. A random number between 1 and 50 is 22. Thank you, Siri. Okay. One, two, is the number. Okay, let's see what we got. <laughs> Jen wrote, yay for fun. <laughs> mm. Looks like Tammy, the crafting disaster. Oh, good there. I'm glad. Not too fast, not too slow. I feel like I was running on. Whew. Okay, so Tammy is the big winner. Woo, Tammy. Yay. And if you are new and I don't have your address, and if you haven't emailed me yet, please email me with your real name, YouTube name, and full mailing address so I can get you your so I can get your information. I would appreciate that very much. And yes, yay, Tammy, these stickers are stinking cute. Thank you. And thank you so much for, for, for being here for me. I appreciate it, ladies. And enjoy the rest of your night. I'm going to go put my feet up and sit in a real chair. And I hope you all do the same. I hope you've been doing that all night long because there's no reason for you to not be sitting in a comfortable chair. All right, everyone, take care. I'll see you soon. I'm a little loopy. Please forgive me. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Night.